Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Saturday Night Insanity! <coughs> Hi! Oh, look, apparently I have a dead hangout link. Where the hell are the boys? Hey, boys! Where are you? Uh, where, where are you, boys? Oh, here we go. I got it. I think I got it. Copy. No, hold on. Hold on, I gotta find it here. Just fucking give me the link. Oh my god, Jail, give it a few seconds to load. Holy shit, not everything is instantaneous. Things take time to happen sometimes. It's right here. It's. Do you see the jar moving? There's the jar. Whee! Woo! Oh, look at the jar. It's going crazy. It's going all over the hang. Oh, it's going all over the chat. Oh, it's going all over the links. Oh my god, the jar. It's going crazy, man. It needs bits. Or it's going to explode. And I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Um, yeah. Just give things like at least three seconds. For God's sake. You impatient people. Okay, there we go. There's the boys. There's the boys. Let's get the boys See, back in town. The the there they are. Hey, hey, hey boys. Hey. Holy moly, always, we have full hey. house this week. Just a heads up. Always assume there's a new link because there's almost always a new link because they break. So. Okay. Just a heads up. Maybe. Hold on. <laughs> what? All good. No, I thought there was a sneeze. It, my nose lied to me. Oh, nah. I think those are the worst. <sighs> Those are worse than actually sneaking. Like, come on, don't be a cock piece. It's, it is. I hate it. It's like, just happen and let me get on with my life. Yeah. But the no. Worst, the no. worst for me is the half sneeze. You get there and then there's no release. That's right. Uh, 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 hey! Fuck! Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and big welcome to Angel Tarragon. Welcome to the uh, the secret uh, club. The so secret clubhouse. My bad. Uh, Angel request. I was on a live stream with Angel. I don't know, five months ago, four months ago. Oh, because he, he invited me randomly to a, a stream, and uh -huh. uh, and he's like, "Oh, you want to? I would love to come on SNI." I'm like, "Oh, I have to talk to the guys," and because I don't just throw links out without asking everybody. Well, yeah, right? obviously, it's so a democracy. Because all it takes is some person going, "I don't like that person." I'm like, well, sorry, buddy, someone doesn't like you. I can't tell you. Sorry, someone said no. I apologize, but no, no one said no. Everyone says like, "Yeah, sure, we love Angel." Of course. So, um, most of these people are subscribed to Angel too. Uh, and if you're not, you should be. You should be. That's um, right. <laughs> uh, so, like, you know, two, three months pass. I'm like, "Hey, Angel, I keep her mean, remind, meaning to ask Sean." And then another month pass. Hey, Angel, I finally <laughs> talked to Sean. And then like, I forget to send a link for two weeks, and he's finally... I'm like, just remind me. Just just fucking remind me of the dates I keep forgetting. So he reminded me today. It's, it's, it reminds me of whenever people ask me to do cameos in their marathon videos. <clears throat> CP, <clears throat> Luke Ryan. Um, <laughs> and uh, and I forget almost immediately. Like they, They'll send me like this script that they put a lot of thought in, and they have this this brilliant creative vision for how they want to integrate me and my rantiness or my, my pure evil into their marathon video. I'm like, oh yeah, oh, I read the script, looks great, cool, I'll, I'll film that uh, ASAP. And then I'll forget, like, almost immediately. I mean, you guys see how much shit I do in a day, like, and I forget. And it's like, if you don't honestly hound me to death, 
about doing your marathon cameo, I will forget. <laughs> uh, did you change so, the bits yet on your bits cup? The what? Did you change the bits in the bit cup yet? What do you mean I changed the bits? So they're no longer fucking Head Tracker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, I didn't, but I can. I, I keep reminding you, and you keep saying, I'll do that later. <laughs> so yeah, so case in point. Yeah, there you no. go. <laughs> no. And then at some point when you're done to editing these goddamn videos, i gotta got to remind you to um to do your uh, things for YouTube. Where what like, is, hey, what I'm on it, Twitch, fuckers. Wait, Come wait, <laughs> what what is what is this finished editing my videos of which you no, speak? No, there... the, the, the collection, the collection update. <laughs> all right. Do you hear me? Oh, you're focusing on that, and you're not going to do these other videos. So you're done with that. So I'll I wait till you're fucking done with that to harass you some more about it. So. Yeah. I well, no, that. actually, keep harassing me about that because that's something fairly small that I can kind of slot in. So. Okay. Um, get, get the fucking doing those tonight, huh? Okay. Well, I was going to play video games tonight, so maybe tomorrow. Fair enough. Tomorrow. Okay, I'll remind you again tomorrow. Now, where the hell are these icons again? I can't. Sorry, I, re I reset the jar because I'm changing the thing. Sorry, guys. And the chat. Colton, go fuck yourself. I'm not going to stop. I do whatever the fuck I want, son. What did he say? He just said stop. Stop. stop like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no I don't want to <laughs> stop harassing Sean. I just want to be strategic about when I harass Sean. That's right. I don't want to be annoying, but I want to <laughs> remind him so he doesn't forget. Because he forgets. He doesn't want to be just aimlessly annoying. He wants to be strategically annoying. Yeah, I want like, okay, <laughs> I difference. feel like he, he looks bored. Now I'll remind him. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Let's, uh... Sometimes he's just sitting on stream talking to people, so I'll just remind him, like, you gotta do this. And he's like, oh, yeah. And sometimes he'll go and do it, you know? He's old, people. We have to remind him. Uh, well, I mean, you know, he clearly yeah. has some sort of... He's got some shit in the jar. He clearly has some sort of ADHD because he's really? like, hyper-focused really on things that he's interested well, in. Hold well, on a Really, Streamlabs, you send a 10,000 test bit? Like, nobody's going to oh budge. Nobody's going to be able to budge that. It's like a freaking boulder. Oh, God. Oh, well. That's let's, hilarious. Let's send all of the highest value things possible sure. to make the jar completely impenetrable. Good job. Let me, uh... I wish it let, let me, me give you some bits. set the amount for the test, but... Wait, wait, I don't understand how bits work. Somebody explain to me how bits work. So, someone else explain it. I don't have the patience. <laughs> <laughs> what? Or just, just put it in the Discord later. Just bits are, just, uh... Just... If you don't want to donate directly, you could donate in bits. And yeah. it's something that Twitch has. You, you donate... Dollars at a time, pennies at a time, doesn't really matter. It's basically tips. <laughs> Think of it like a tip jar. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. My yeah. job as a mod is so, to make sure that's a bit more. So, uh, so, you, so you buy bits. you buy bits like you know a hundred bits or a thousand bits or whatever, and like basically one bit equals one penny. So, and then uh, as you're watching a stream, you can you can do what they call cheer, and then you cheer whatever value of bits you decide to cheer. So you know a lot of people just do one. And some people do ten, some people do a thousand. I, had now, a I actually had a legitimate ten thousand one once, which was just amazing. That made my whole yeah. freaking week. Was that um, or something you did that? I think? I think so. Yeah, it was just sorry like, if I got, got the anyone wrong. I apologize. It may have it's, been a little, uh, little boy. Okay, that's not the gif. Holy moly! See, like right now, Strum Dog's trying to fill up the jar with <laughs> bits valued at five bits each. And just chucked, and, and he also likes okay. watching it explode. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So a mod job in, in, uh, uh, for, for, in this case would be to watch just enough ads to get enough bits to put like 10 or 20 bits in the cup so it looks a little more full yeah. and more enticing for people to make donations to fucking make it explode because that's a lot of fun. Exactly. So that way the fans aren't wasting money or ad revenue just trying to get it to the point where they can make it explode. And, you know... It's not harmful to watch a 30-second ad for a mod while, you know. No, no, yeah. Well, if you do, well, and any, anybody can do that too. Like, yeah, anybody. It sounds to me, yeah. it sounds to me like an overly complicated system, though. I mean, wouldn't it be easier? No, you, you it's just to. You, you buy it's bits. Layer, it's a, you yeah, it's spend them. You, you drop them on your. They mini gamed. They mini gamed microtransactions into live streaming. It's yeah. it's brilliant. It's basically turned the streaming into Skinnerware. Yeah, you just you, you just buy bits to throw at streamers you like. It's that simple. And if anyone wants to know skin like, it, think of it like hold it. Think think of it like going to a video arcade that doesn't take quarters but wants you to buy tokens. That's basically oh. exactly the same idea. 
Yeah, yeah okay, that makes, that makes think sense. Think of the streamers yeah. uh, as the arcade games. You just <laughs> put, we are like, the why? games that you're playing. <laughs> so, the cup has a bit of weight. So now there's a lot of tokens in here. Now someone donates, say, a thousand or more bits. It's going to make an explosion happen. It yeah. can happen with less, but it's really random. Yeah. Um, and donations will always make it explode. So any much, side yeah. donation of like a couple dollars or more will make it explode magnificently. Yeah, because it well, correlates to... Um, it gives okay, yeah, that makes perfect rain. sense. Oh, no. Stumdog just likes to make it rain. Yes, he does. <laughs> now, my question he does. is... He's mentioned he does. Yeah. Down side of the jar, what does that do? Does that Nothing. Nothing. Doesn't no, matter. It's just fun. It just so looks. The, the jar is is solely visual. It has no awesome. effect on whether or not I get the the payment at my end. So. And he can set um, custom. Oak which is why it's so fun yeah. to make it explode and have all the bits fly out of the jar. Exactly. Yeah. So don't feel don't guilty about explode. making them explode. Yeah, we want you to make totally them explode. Asshole. You're like, ha! Huh, look at all those bits you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you lost know, all you that know, money, loser. It's the money. It's the pennies. No matter what, it's, there's no gambling. So it's like. Yeah. Even if it bounces out, you still got it. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, we're not gambling. It's, it's strictly a tip jar, basically. You like what you see, <laughs> throw some bits at me. So throw them right in my jar. face. <laughs> I still can't find where these damn gifts go. I've completely lost. Oh, donation settings. Maybe that's where it is. Is this it? The, the jar. The jar. No, this is for the. Is called it, the jar. I don't. No, it's not in the jar. <laughs> Yes, the, it is. The, the jar is. Oh, oh, it is. Never. What the fuck? Bottom okay. of the page. Never mind. And Angel's just, Angel's just sitting here like, what in the world did I give myself? Into? <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the madness. I've, I've been on the hangouts before. Not these, or but I've been on the hangouts. The titles. I mean, you know. Well, yeah. Welcome to the madness. Welcome to insanity. <laughs> uh, Brandon, is that a um, Bob's Big Boy Funko behind you on the shelf? No, it's not. It is a Bob's Big Boy thing. Oh, nice. I bought it at a real Bob's sure. Big Boy. I, I would fucking thing, kill for a Funko Bob's Big Boy. I know the goddamn rare, too. I don't, you guys, I don't know if it came out or not. Did you guys watch the documentary? No, not, not yet. yet. It's in my queue. It's in my queue. amazing. Funko Pops? Really? <clears throat> Funko yeah. documentary called oh. Making Fun. Making Fun. It's oh. more than just Funko, about the company, because they yeah. started selling other things. Funko Pops are just what made them famous. They were doing other toys for a long time. Sweet. Or at least a medium amount of time before they got big with the Wet Pop Finals. I will have to... Oh, there they are. Okay. Now it's a goddamn money train. Put them in here. And they're so cute that I can't deny them that they designed a really good product. They deserve all the money they get. Because they do. Good product, man. Okay, so that one, this will be... For the most part, they're high quality. You know, there's a few issues here and there, but you know. And also watch the toys that made us for anybody that's not oh watching the toys that made God. us. Oh, Sean, you need to see the toys that made us. The He Man yes. specifically, you are just going to fucking. Oh, and Transformers. Oh, oh, that. too. Yeah, Transformers, the is Lego, G.I. Joe. I've seen almost all of it now. It's only 70 kilobytes. Yeah. Come on. I saw Hello Kitty, yeah. too, which is actually really yeah. interesting. Okay. Yeah, the only one I didn't really get into was the Barbie one, but I'm a dude. <laughs> that ginger has nothing to do with it. I really like the Hello Kitty one. So. Yeah. I thought I like the Strom Dog did one bit and said, don't go in. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Strom. That's great. Don't go in. Oh. Don't go in. <laughs> and, uh, oh. yeah. He just, like, whispers into the night, don't. <laughs> <laughs> he, un he unblows on the dice. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Snake Eyes, Snake Eyes, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. M. Quack's been holding back. Here we go, a thousand. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's an eye, motherfuckers. Oh, it's a glowy head, too. Look at that. Boom. There we oh, go. Right behind. Excellent. I'm, behind. I'm about to watch it. About to hit. <laughs> nice. Sploosh. Yeah, so that gives you some idea. So when the jar is really full of those, like, small one and two-bit ones... Uh, they're really light in terms of the weight that they have. So when someone drops a thousand bit one like Quack just did into a jar full of one bits, so they wait. just go flying like oh, it's just a freaking explosion of them. Yeah, it's off yeah. Mine just that was fun. Yeah, I like seeing that. That was cool. Exactly. That's all part of the fun there. Ah, uh, this looks kind of weak. That's so, guys, I, I have to ask. I haven't been here in like three months. Huh. So what's so what's the quota on my 
pick up some I is there like a limit to how much I can share? Well, yeah, have, I don't want a hundred items. Yeah, right. because I mean, it's stock man in his half price book. Generally, the generally we just keep it to the past week or, or yeah. two. Okay, you cool. know. I can do that. I'll give you two just weeks since it's been a while. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Because cool. otherwise, you in it when they're really. <laughs> Because otherwise, it's like, here's everything I got in the last three months. Or you uh, just do a best of, like your, yeah. like your favorite ones. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'll you just could do that do too. Highlights, yeah, I don't probably. want to see 200 items. I'm sorry. I love I love big hauls, but they have to be in one week. Otherwise, it's cheating. Yeah, cool. Same Angel. I know you haven't been here for a while. You can just Gotta give be. us some. Oh, I, I only have a small stack of stuff to show anyway. All right. I have three things. Oh, and of course, I'm gonna have even less things. I canceled all my pre-orders. I'm not getting those Car Carpenter films. I'm not getting the Sartana collection. Uh, I didn't. Oh, I Sartana! Everything. I canceled oh, all of it because. Oh man. Uh, I need to get the fuck out of here. So yeah. That's, I gotta go to Canada. I gotta. Yeah. Go Sometimes mental health it needs to take precedence over the acquisition of stuff. Yes, you know, the stuff's going to be there. I'm going to always get covers, You can get stuff another time. Stuff I'll miss all those covers. Or I, in my case, I'm saving up for the big ticket items, so I canceled my pre order of yeah. the Steelbooks for Power Rangers. Oh, I want that too. Oh, that's that's, that's another one. Yeah. I had money for that too, but I'm like, mm, I don't really actually have money. I, want, I want that Power Rangers make... set so bad, I want it. That's I do too. It's fucking beautiful. I'm actually I'm really cool. eyeballing that Sartana set. Very tempted on that. And is that the only way to get the Blu-ray of the movie? Of what? Yeah. Yes, currently. Okay. Uh, I'm which not one? They're going to release a standalone steelbook or something. Sure, I'm sure of it. Oh, okay. It'll okay. at least standalone edition. At some point. At some point. Probably not. It might be a little bit. They might have to like contractually wait for this one to be out of print first. So I don't know. I don't know how long it'll take. The release that I'm really sad that I don't think I'm going to have money to support, though, is the Doctor Who Blu-ray. Oh, really? Yeah. That's Unless something happens within the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm I broke now. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, don't know 64, what $60 adds up when you don't have a lot. Yeah, Sartana was like 65 bucks US, yeah. dude. Sartana, yeah, it's a little more than that, I think, and actually. Like 80, yeah. I, was like, I was like $75 for a three crest, the uh, Scream Factory. John Carpenter titles, and then yeah. uh, I had just, I had this other film uh, that was from Massacre Video that I just ended up having to cancel. If that. people would start using my Amazon links, hey, maybe I could get hey, it. don't be mean. <laughs> I'm just kidding, mm -hmm. just kidding, I'm kidding. Sorry, I'm still trying to decide on pictures for this stupid thing because now oh. this has got me fixated on it. Um, oh, I'm really sorry, dude. Do you that's want, okay. You use your head from that 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 um. No, I don't burner. want don't want them to be of me. I want them to be of things. Oh, that you should I totally like. have them be of you. That's they're so cool, and you can uh, see your head screaming into the jar. Uh, your Xenonite ring. Your full Xenonite ring. It's different from your thing, and then you should do your the one that Verminart made for you for the censoring. Remember? And then. Stag, oh, what yeah. are you eating? Maybe like a SNI logo or something. Cold mm -hmm. pizza. A cold pizza from your cold That's fridge. That's fucking right. My cold dead hands. <laughs> I have cold pizza in my fridge too. I might also have cold pizza. So I'm little also retro boy. Drinking, I'm drinking Stout is, cold. Stout is gonna be very beer. excited about one of my pickups. Oh, little retro boy, I gotta say, every time I see your name, I want to say little red robot. I don't know why. I'll point that out. <laughs> little red robot. <laughs> yes, I don't know why. Like bad robot or something like a. I don't know. <laughs> Stout and Quack are going to be very excited about one of my pickups. Just teaser. Awesome. That's all. I can't wait. Is it Quantum Leap related? <laughs> it is not. <laughs> Damn it. It is something else that only the three of us. Baseball related? Can. Yes, it is. And Ryan Chapman. Oh, oh baseball. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a quick shout out to Ryan. I think his uh, mom is having some health issues. Oh. I hope that she's all right. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Hang in there, bad. Ryan. Much yeah, love to your that. mom. I saw that on Facebook, and 
he hasn't updated since that I've seen. So. Unfortunately. Oh, God damn it, people doing the Thundercats logo. Do you not understand? It's not supposed to be straight. It's at an <laughs> angle. <laughs> You're the only one who cares. Uh, you can always tell. You can always tell when it's a bootleg Thundercat shirt because they've straightened the cat logo, and it's like, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> okay, so are we are we going to get a rant tonight about the the so-called Thundercats remake? Oh, I did that well, like three weeks that. ago, dude. Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's he put, the, he put the rant in his videos on the page here. And it's also okay, on, it's in the clips, and it's also uh, um, if you want the full thing, because uh, the clip Perfect. is just a clip of it. Uh, we had actually quite a lengthy discussion about it that night. Um, just look at SNI. There's the thumbnail is unmistakable. It's it's a picture of my raging face in the middle, on top of the released uh, artwork from Thundercats Roar, and um, you can't miss it. <laughs> yeah. I will definitely go check that out. Yeah, I am not thrilled, to say the least. Um, you know, I'll go with that one. That one's fine. It's good enough. It's close enough. He's not right. thrilled, but he is excited. No, he's not that either. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, so here's how it works. So and This is strictly for donations. Holy crap, look at that jar. You guys have been busy while I've been distracted. I oh, just looked. <laughs> Thundercats. Through our Thundercats. Was so, okay, so donations. Basically, if it's donations of a certain level, you get one logo. If it's over another level, you get another logo. If it's a higher level donation, you'll get my super special one that uh, I save for special things. So, there you go. And that's strictly donations. You'll only get those with donations. It does not work with regular bits. So, there you go. So if you want to see what they are, you'll just have to find out the expensive way. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, it's actually the cheaper way because every other way that you can do it on Twitch, oh, that's true. You have to pay Twitch something. Oh God, here we go! Holy moly, those are lagging so hard now. <laughs> yes, they are lagging. You really overloaded oh my god is it even going to pick up enough momentum to have any impact at all we'll see here we go oh, speeding up a little bit speeding up a little bit come on come on come on do it do it do it do it oh my god <laughs> mine's just falling it, it slowly, <laughs> slowly bounces out of the cup denied <laughs> Wow. Strum Dog is actually delighted because he prefers <laughs> when his don't go in the cup. Holy shit. That For him, that's the challenge. Is, is, up too. <laughs> is to keep it out of the cup. <laughs> it's all my salt. The cup needs a donation or a big. It needs big something bit. with more wow. weight to it, I think. Because yeah. yeah. it's not able to pick. My the, thousand I dropped, I should have held on to. Did the thousand bounce? Yeah. I thought it has got to be a big. Did donation. you do a second thousand? Because you did no, one. Did no, no, your anything. first one worked, but there was hardly anything in the cake. In the cake. Yeah, I'm looking one. at. I'm looking at the fudge cake thing that Major Matoko posted. <laughs> Probably gonna be five thousand. Probably gonna be like a five thousand. There was hardly anything in the cup, so it's got to be. Um, yeah, I think it's got to be either a donation or a subscription, or just a gajillion bits, basically. So. Yeah, I really usually don't like cold pizza. The only kind of cold pizza I like is like pepperoni and sauce. Just the best cold pizza. That's like the you'd like the uh, don't forget your mushrooms. The um, <clears throat> uh, the carnivore pizza that I've got leftovers of in the fridge because that's got pepperoni, sausage, and some other meats as well, and it's mm. really fucking good. You know what the oh best? I'll tell you. I'll you know tell you what, what guys. After, you know what the best after, after that pizza last. Is? Donato's pepperoni sausage and bacon. There you go. So That's what, were you, what, what were you trying to say there, Angel? <laughs> I was saying the last time I was at SNI, like last week, and you guys were talking about uh, what good toppings there were, right? Adding pepperoni to sausage and mushrooms. I had it, and oh my god, it was just heaven. So good. <laughs> pepperoni so, and jalapeno yes, all the way. Yes. Pepperoni and jalapeno <laughs> all the way. Oh, pepper. oh, I 
it bounced out, out again. Okay. Uh, Pepperoni and jalapeno. Well, <laughs> I, mean, no I appreciate the effort there, Zoro. Pepperoni and mushroom just, and sausage is Oh my heavy. goodness. It is not even entertaining the prospect of letting yeah. those 100-bit ones in. Look. It's too full. The hundreds are not don't have enough weight. They just don't. Yeah. They're bouncing off like somebody like that hits the ice and just needs, goes. Ring. I'm telling you, but it needs a big yeah. like five thousand. It um, they don't have enough weight, and also because the cup is so overloaded, it's uh, it's bogged down. Like the the load mm -hmm. on it is is too heavy. It's slowing that, everything down. Yeah. So that they, that so they're not getting help. speed. They're not getting momentum. So it has to. The only thing that's going to work is weight. Yes. Just to plow through that isn't everything. something that gets helped by uh, a better computer. It doesn't matter. I have seen the same thing happen to people who yeah. have like streaming computers dedicated to streaming. Yeah. That top know, of the like, line. Yeah. Two, three thousand mm dollar -hmm. computers. Doesn't fucking matter. The lag problem is with Streamlabs and their yeah. program that they use. Yeah, that's so, correct. It's, yeah, because nothing else in the stream is lagging. Like, you guys are fine. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not even seeing any heavy CPU load, actually. I'm it's trying some like different it. settings tonight, by the way, which seems to be alleviating the CPU issue. It's on so, their end. It's yeah. Not, wait, it's so, processed on wait, their end. Yeah. So Sean switched to Streamlabs from uh, what he was using? No. He just uh, used the service I, Streamlabs. You can yeah. use Streamlabs independent of OBS as well. It's yeah. it's a separate thing. Oh, just, okay, gotcha. so they Streamlabs have a, OBS is a new thing. They have a version of it that's integrated with OBS. I'm still using XSplit. And Streamlabs OBS is... Oh, and there's... Just as soon as I say that, there's the high CPU usage alert. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, just can't win. Yeah, because I was going to say Streamlabs OBS <laughs> is what I use. So. Yeah. yeah. I, I Streamlabs OBS is like... Hot shit! I love it. Beautiful. It is. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's like a brand. It's like it's like I was driving around a really <sighs> cool Honda, right? It was, you know, it, it's not the beautiful. It's not the most beautiful car, but it fucking works 90 percent of the time. And then the, it's like suddenly I woke up and there's a goddamn Ferrari I can just pick up. Yeah. It's free. Oh. It's I might. It's uh, so I might actually. Rich. I might actually give it a try just to see how it compares uh, CPU usage wise. Uh, yeah. to XSplit, because... It's free. I'll put it that way. Well, I know, <laughs> and, it's, thing, and, it's, and it's free, so... Uh, streaming's I, a very CPU-intensive thing, so... Yeah, what? I know. It's no, okay. really I really doubt it is. I just <laughs> saw the, uh... No, no, the other day, actually, it was on Thursday. Thursday. Uh, Stinsa posted yeah. in the Discord an, an article about Vermont willing to pay people up to $10,000 <laughs> to move there and work remotely. I am a person who works remotely, so they're saying they want to pay me ten thousand dollars to move to Vermont. I'm like, well, hmm. yeah, go figure that out, dude. <laughs> go, go, uh, go live with Owen. Go, go film vi videos out in the middle of the woods and shit. Perfect. There you go. I would love to see you and Owen uh, on, on the $10, same ten thousand dollars. You said that would give me <laughs> more incentive to go visit because I was already talking to him about visiting in the future. So it, it's like. Just industry in Vermont failing because nobody wants to live there, so they're like literally no. bribing people to come and live in Vermont. There, like, <laughs> there are industries. There, there's not a lot of anything in Vermont. Yeah. Nope. Okay. And so a lot of those industries, yeah, they are moving, so they have to keep people there. Yeah, and I guess you're right. Yes, there's probably some failing industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, that's. I love that you're like, no. Well, actually. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, like, give me a second. Like, uh, no, but like, well, actually, maybe, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> yeah, I can be wrong. It's all right. But I mean, there are. It's not like it's a, a state with nothing. Like, there's nothing to do there. I'm sure. But there's Burlington, more than Vermont. That's there's, nice there's. Area. I mean, if you like nature, there's lots of shit to do. Like, exactly, it's a beautiful green. place. I have no interest in nature. <laughs> <laughs> Nature wants to kill me, and I want to stay alive. That, that's yeah. what IMAX films were invented for. You can just that's watch nature in high definition, and it's practically the same as being there. If I want to feel like I want to go on a boat trip, Minus I'll all the bug bites. God. If I want to feel like I want to go in the woods, I'll watch The Revenant, man. I'm good. I don't need to go <laughs> in nature at all. It's or cool. or Deliverance, which I, I really got to watch the last 20 minutes of that movie one of these days. I mean, it's such a great movie about just some guys hanging out in the woods and having a good time. I mean, kind of sure, creepy people they see at the beginning. But, I mean, other than that, it's just good good wholesome fun of, you know, guys, nice guys out in the woods. Yeah. Huh? 
So there's some nice banjo playing. It's it's great. Yeah. The bat, the, 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 the dueling banjos. Great. It's good fun. Yeah, I love it. So sweet and innocent, <laughs> and huh, the bygone days of yesteryear, man. We just won't see days like them anymore. <laughs> oh yes, Dad. My favorite version of cold pizza when I went to college in northern New York in Plattsburgh, which is about an hour from Burlington, Vermont. This place at 2 a.m. would serve, you know, piping hot pizza, but it would put a big handful of cold mozzarella right on top, just like shredded. Mm. Oh, that was the cold pizza to have. I feel my bowels obstructing just like. <laughs> oh, see, you're lucky. My, my, this me just goes through me like fucking. You don't want to shit for a week. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. you and, like it immediately oh, fly, it. finds the quickest route out of my body in hot lava form. So. That's right. I said it last time we. Were, I said it last time we were talking about pizza. I want to get all these guys to Ohio, Eric, so they can eat Dewey's. Hey, see, I've mentioned Dewey's a bunch of times because I've. Say. I've said that the Edgar Allan Poe is one of my favorite vegetarian pizzas ever. Uh, and I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know. The road to financial independence is upon us. Like Guatemala olives, mushrooms, and goat cheese. And, yeah. uh, I think everyone is now <laughs> intimidated by the jar. I haven't seen anything in like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's true. Maybe we have to prove it to them. That's the point, be. man. I saw a comment saying you got to add another jar. Another jar. <laughs> a second jar. Oh, here we go. Is Skin Slips one bit going to go in? Or is it just going to yep. skid across the top no. like the others have? Here it's going to magically explode the cup. Watch. <laughs> Probably. Here we go. Will it go? Will it bounce? Will it blow Will up? Will it even hit the cup? Sometimes it just misses the cup. Oh. <laughs> Oh wow, that is like a weird curve. Uh huh. Stum's uh, gonna try it with twenty. Boink. <laughs> Boink. At this point, it's like you did it wrong. Oh, well. bullet oh I know. You wanted to make it rain. Gotcha. Yes. In which case, you did do it wrong. But oh yes, because we, we totally Thanks for the twenty anymore. bits, anyway. <laughs> That's what he did, basically. Okay. And brown. <laughs> there we go. That Gonna good... try this. Oh, yeah, well, there was a tremor. There was a tremor. Here comes yeah. two 100 bits of oh, robots. Shit. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, the robots usually have some weight. Oh, no. An M Quack put in a triangle right below yours. They might ricochet. Shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. It's all moving in slow motion. Oh, God. It's so overloaded. Oh. Oh my god, what's going to oh, happen? Oh no, you whacked your fucking triangles! Get the fuck out of here with your triangles, Oh god. my god, are you fucking serious? Wow. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, why is mine written in your answers? Boink. Doink. Boink. Boink. <laughs> it's like, stop either side, like, nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, I appreciate the effort. I especially appreciate the money. <laughs> I, didn't pay I, nine for I mean, it's all in good fun. It's totally not about the money. By the way, I've got all my bits from grinding it. I just click yep. in the US yeah. and click the bits icon in the chat. Okay? And what you do is you get, click get bits, and then there'll be a watch ad button. And yep. when they're available, they're not always available, it'll be black. And you're only in the US, and you can grind out bits like I have been doing. Yeah, he's just been grinding like crazy and has amassed hundreds of bits as a result, strictly by watching ads. He hasn't actually had to spend a dime. I don't have so. any fucking money. Sometimes you, you get fifty for guys. watching them on two instead of just five. That's All true. Money Sometimes going. you get bonus ones. Yeah. I mean, other things. So. Boom! Oh, one stayed in, and hey. the other bounced. <laughs> okay, this is just. This I think you got to clear it. I think I got to clear it. All right, here we go. We're gonna try to clear it. Here we go. Get ready. Spam, spam a couple. Of I'm just going to send some fake bits in to, <laughs> Still to the basically try to clear it out. Let's uh, let's try a donation. Here we go. Oh, John tipped $49. It's not actually real. Really? Did you have to do it as three? Couldn't you do it as one? Just really heavy one? Oh, oh no. Here we go. Bink, bink. Oh, oh goes. god, two of them just go immediately fly. Yeah. And, and, and. 
Wow. No. Really? No. Really? That's ridiculous. Uh, uh, really? Do another donation. See what happens. Try a subscription. <laughs> <laughs> try a subscription oh, one here. Yeah. Okay. I just subscribed to myself. Trying to free up our loose stools here. God. Our loose stools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Subscription dropping now. Here we go. Here we go. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's coming. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. It's coming. Slowly drifting to the Are left. you fucking serious? Like. Oh, well, I guess you have to clear it. I guess you have to actually reload it. We have made cement, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Well, try, try the bits. God. Try to get one of those red ones in there. Hold on. Oh, the bits? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let's. Like 10,000 bits. If you get a 10,000 bit, one at a time, like bing, no, bing, no, bing. Well, it's random, so. I know there. you keep going bing until you. Okay. I just sent a whole bunch. Here we go. There's a whole bunch oh coming. God. There's a 10,000. There's a 10,000. 10, I see 000. it. The others are trying to knock it off course, and they just can't even touch it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. This is it. Go, 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 go. There's another 10,000 coming. What the fucking fuck? Seriously? Okay, there's two more. There's two more coming in hot. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It just ricocheted off the dart. It hit the... Oh, my God. Come on. Hit it. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Okay, honestly, I'm glad those oh weren't real ones because if someone had just spent $100 in bits and got no boom, like, what a fucking ripoff that would be. All right, All right. just give me a second here. You know, it's kind of funny. The 100 bit there did more movement than the. If you like the explosions, why don't you switch to the champagne glass? That makes all of them explode. Hold on. Oh, actually, maybe. Uh... It, is a short, it is a smaller. Like, it is a smaller glass. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on crazy. a second. I think if I just, uh, yeah, if I change the jar, that'll clear them out. Yeah, change the wine glass, dude. The wine glass. The yeah, yeah, actually, this one. This is a good one. Here we go. Let's try this. Save. All right, it's gonna reset, and it should clear it. Oh, and it Whoa. it fucked it up. Hold on. Oh no. Oh God! Okay. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What is filling it up with all the big expensive ones? Like, uh, uh, all right, hold on. Let me oh, I'll I'll take it off. That, not that one. You want the wide, one. You want the wide, shallow one? Hold on, hold on. With the wide, shallow one. The martini glass. You martini mean? glass. Yeah. Sorry. Martini okay, hold on. Glass. You're the right. martini glass. That's the one you want. The white. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the one. It makes them all explode out and stuff. Yeah, more they fun. do, because they, they, they all skid up the side and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to enjoy the explosions more. And I just love how the only ones it put in there were all the fake 10,000s I just sent, which nobody will ever be able to move. Like, that's great. Good job. Okay, here we go. Hold on a second, I gotta resize this. Yeah, what, kitty? Yeah? Come <laughs> here, baby. There's your, <laughs> Sherlock. There. Ooh. <laughs> Sherlock says hi. Sherlock. Hi, Sherlock. Hi, Sherlock. I think she wants out. There's a, t there's a robot that won't stop spinning at the bottom of it. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Change uh, okay. nothing. Working as intended. And it's covering the geeky crew. That's okay. What are you doing, baby? Whatever. That part's what are you doing, Sherlock, baby? I don't mind being covered in bits. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, I love you, kitty. All right, go. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Such a horror stout. There we go. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let you go. Here we go. Should be running a little faster now. But they're just randomly jiggling. Come on, kitty. We oh, there's a few stayed in. There we go. Oh no. A few. <laughs> okay, so did anything anything geeky happen this week? <laughs> Forty five minutes in. Apparently <laughs> changed by that whole Roseanne debacle, but uh, not. Oh yeah. The problem is that that whole thing completely overwhelmed the entire news cycle to the point like nothing else could get through it. Pretty much. Oh, and Roseanne, Roseanne left, didn't show up on Joe Rogan's show like she promised. Yeah, she ghosted. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Which is stupid to me because it's like that's your one opportunity, especially I, on Joe Rogan, where yeah. you will. Joe Rogan is fair to everybody. Right. I have a yeah. feeling she's taking some time <laughs> off, getting some new headspace before she does it. Yeah. But right, she probably was still really emotional about everything, and you know, yeah, and I mean, she probably doesn't want to be like trying to make a show of it, right? Because then the whole shit is more great. Asshole, I mean, finally we could, the whole shit. we could talk <laughs> about the the so-called failure of Solo. <laughs> so oh, we, you. you've talked about God. that too. <laughs> well, I did read I this article about that. That what? So, sorry, Dad. I did read an interesting article about that. Apparently, in a lot of theaters, Solo is not being uh, shown correctly. Like, too uh, dark. Don't, yeah, it's too uh. dark. They're that they're not projecting it correctly. <laughs> There was oh. like some an industry expert who like, works in projection, right? He actually went through to all of these different theaters and made sure that they would be projecting uh, certain films correctly, right? And this guy went to see Solo, and he's there like, "There we go. I can't make anything out. What the fuck are you doing here?" Yeah. And he was saying, like, apparently the cinematographer that they got for Solo is actually really good. And the, if you get it right, if you actually project it correctly, it looks really good. And he was, like, comparing it to stuff that was done on The Godfather. It's like, yeah, so this is really good cinematography that's being ruined by people who don't know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to it. By full projectionists. Pretty much, yeah. That are on that. That, that well, could also be it, right? on that whole fuck so all that all those. Probably has there a lot to do with how people are so called not enjoying the movie. Then. Well, I will say, like well, one of our friends. Of it, yeah. I don't want to name them names, but one of our friends actually was saying he, one of the things he didn't like about Solo when he went to see it was that, he, like, the colors looked all bland. Gee, I wonder I if that was something yeah. to do with projection. I, I saw it on yeah. Facebook. Could have been there. Uh, yeah, well, they should... bland to me. I, was, I didn't get any bland in this there. There was an article, yeah, I think it was the article you maybe you posted or some, someone posted on the Discord. It was basically about how um, Solo was, indi- was proving just how outdated and improperly calibrated a lot of theaters are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because uh, they're not able to show it correctly. So, yeah... Damn it, Stab. I'm going to go get some of my pizza. Thankfully, I have a brand new... <laughs> thankfully, my town has a brand new cinema. So. I wish yeah. I... Huh? That's the advantage of uh, yeah. where I live. We only have one theater, but it's like a galaxy theater. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're oh. like a pretty small chain, right? There's oh. only like... Is it far, far a, away? There's a dozen of them in the country. of <laughs> Well, and really, they're not nearly as like nice as they want to make themselves out to be, but it's a pretty nice theater, and they do get projection right. I will say that. I go to a, I go to a <clears throat> showcase cinemas. I go to I go to rave mostly, but the brand new one is called Sinopolis, and it's like a dine-in. Oh, okay. One. So, yeah. Yeah, our uh, Regal's got. Uh remodeled not too long ago. My best Wait, I have, I have my one legal here in Dayton, but it's in another county and I can't get to it. On the bus. But I but I'm going to warm it up, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't actually know if I have pickups this week. I can't remember what I showed last week. Um I should probably I have one thing. I have one I saw your video. video. Whoa, so Stout only had one thing. Did you? Wow. What the fuck, Stout? Are you sick? Are you not feeling well? Is it April 1st? What did you do with Stout? Just tell us where the body is. I have five. Dude, I beat Stout this week. Look at this. I beat Stout this week. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just going to pull up last week's episode and quickly take a peek at it here. <laughs> Poor shame, Stab. You shamed me, your family, everybody. You're shame. Yeah, yeah. Shame. Shame. 
Shame. <laughs> it's gonna be like that old lady from Princess Bride. Boo! Yes! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was one of my favorite parts of the movie. Just I that, that part when I was little, that part scared the crap out of me. <laughs> no. That old lady was just like, You gave up love. true love. Boo! <laughs> Okay, so my favorite part squad. was the day I remember where I noticed the uh, the mole moved. I was like, "Oh my god, the mole moved!" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, that's so cool!" And then uh, I like, watched like a hawk the next time after that, and I was like, "Oh, look at that! That goes here, then it goes there." Cause, you know, it's TV all the fucking time. Oh yeah, especially in, like my the personal night. favorite is to watch uh, sitcoms where they're sitting at like a dinner table. And eating food and like seeing the levels of food that have been eaten like change and water oh, yeah. levels go up and down <laughs> every uh, time it cuts. I saw the Princess Bride in the theater when it oh. was new. You so did I. bastard. <laughs> so did I. It was I wonderful. Um, so old. Let's see, what was it now? I mean, we got some uh, game announcements, some early E3 leaks. Well, yeah, there was a big leak. We don't think know. I only Possibly, showed two yeah, things last week. Unconfirmed uh, leaks. Unconfirmed, yeah, so I'm not going to yeah. talk about All right, so I think I do have some things. I, I am going to talk about the ones that they were supposed to be E3, but the publishers came out and just went, ah, fuck it. Mm -hmm. You guys already know, so they just did an official announcement. Um, and uh, one of them, well, one of them turned out to be a very awkward live stream for a day. <laughs> And, uh, and yeah, Major Stoko's got it. It's the new Fallout <laughs> game. Fallout 76. Oh, yeah. How was that? There was a live stream related to that? Yeah, there was a, there was a, a one day long awkward live stream of a, <laughs> of a, uh, bobblehead <laughs> staring at a Fallout logo for Really? Yeah. All right, we got the, the Fallout the 76 day. thing announced. That was kind of. A big one. And then the next day they did an announcement. Yeah, yeah. Then the ne yeah, then they ended that live stream with no announcement at all. And then the next day they came back and went, "Oh, by the way, it's <laughs> Fallout 76." Mm. <laughs> well, so, actually, one of the first th so hard. one of the things they posted kind of a, to tease everyone was the "Please Stand By" screen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was a uh, yeah, it was a Fallout uh, little bobblehead <clears throat> staring at a please stand by monitor for 12 fucking hours. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> okay. okay. Nothing happened. That's it. <laughs> I think that it's, it's one of those things where they think they understand the internet, but they really don't. No. They fucked up. <laughs> they something. No, if you want to know anything, how to do something like that correctly, ironically, you need to go look at No Man's Sky. Oh, uh, watch it. We and look at their past <laughs> live streams of when they announced oh. Atlas Rises. Here we oh, go. Oh, yeah, Cass, finally! Duncan's setting oh, 100 in. Here we go. And Cass, Cass is here. Hello, Cass. Death. And Boom! Death. Yes, look at that. Just splashes over both sides and explodes. Sorry, my, my hot Perfect. dog is really hot. That's awesome. <laughs> That's That's hot dog is you came into the room, you're like... <clears throat> then you're you hot dogging correctly. Like yeah, that's why I like uh, the martini. It's like a tube of steam, my God. <laughs> That just reminds me of last week when Sean was trying to make hot dogs and said ow. He said ow like six times while making hot dogs <laughs> in the microwave. In the microwave. It's, it's important <laughs> to emphasize he was making hot dogs in the microwave. <laughs> in the process of making hot dogs in the microwave, I repeat well, actually, again. Actually, he said ow no. six times. Six. We counted. We fucking counted. Sick. Actually, actually You're flabbergasted. Is, is a, Let's Raz talk. What, what Raz? I, I said, actually, the whole problem is he's trying to make hot dogs in a time machine. <laughs> you guys remember that episode? A time machine. Let's episode see if Sean one. remembers his own MMC retro. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Duh. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> You think of all the people in the room, I should have been the one to get that first. <laughs> the, the guy who did it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, what else was announced? I keep making hot dogs and they keep disappearing. 
the new... 20 years later. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> These hot dogs <laughs> raining on me. <laughs> oh, there was a new... Uh, there's a new Pokemon game coming out. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Po po oh, man. Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemans. Pokemon. I know. Pokemon. Po poke a man. <laughs> Pokemon. But it's better than just the average ordinary Pokemon game that they always do for every handheld system they've ever had. Pokemon Go 2! Because this <laughs> time... Sean, when you say that, I'm just imagining instead of the Pillsbury Doughboy giggle, I'm just imagining... <laughs> <laughs> Listen. 1998. First Pokemon game was out. Yes. And I'm thinking to myself... Boy, I can't wait until they do a fully 3D rendered Pokemon game like this for a mm -hmm. console. Uh -huh. And then they had Pokemon Coliseum or whatever, and mm -hmm. they had all these like fighting games, but no RPG games. So you had Pokemon Guess Snap. Guess what? Guess what? Pokemon Nintendo Snap is mm -hmm. finally doing 20 years later. Finally. A, col a Coliseum fighting game? No. Yes. <laughs> finally, like a real mainline Pokemon game. Finally! Yeah, a main main run RPG Pokemon title. Finally! On a console. Uh, and Tech that right there, folks, means I'm buying me a, a Switch. Because they got to own that. So not just another Game Boy one, eh? Nope. No, the awesome. Game Boy probably... Or the, the handhelds are probably gone. They're probably not making any more handhelds. Mm -hmm. Which no. is the replacement for both console and... Everything. Just doing a reboot. He's gonna do a reboot. Think the next handheld will be called the Game Boy. And he goes, and it's just gonna be a reboot, and then instantly runs away and leaves the room. <laughs> oh, maybe he did. he's got to do a reboot. Okay. Oh. Okay. He's got. Yeah. Never mind. Well, it's, it it's not... kind of ironic because this this is a <laughs> new game pseudo reboot kind of maybe not really because well, it's back in the Panko region, but we don't know when it takes place. They're reboot as in they're returning to. <laughs> Gen, a Gen 1 location, hmm. which is the original Kanto region. Um, not a reboot as in they're introducing new Pokemon and other an generations, entirely favorites, I believe. Other generations Pokemon and an entirely new game mechanics. And so. some sort of integration with Pokemon Go where you can trade Pokemon back and forth. We don't know what level that interaction is. Yeah, and they're also integrating the way you catch Pokemon and Pokemon Go into this where you have you see that in the middle of the screen you gotta toss a ball at it. So... Well, you hold the controller and go like this. Yeah, you. you it's a Joy-Con. You uh, you wee whack it until it uh, gets into your balls. Let's go, Pikachu. Yes. <laughs> they also have a controller that is actually a Pokeball. I just said that. That if we have a Joy-Con, that's a Pokeball. And you yeah, go also, with it to catch uh, the Pokeball in the game. By the there's way, this also... is not how to use oh, a remote. Oh yeah. Say, you know, hey, <laughs> thanks, Manic Prime. Wait, 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 wait. Twelve months. One year Whoa! anniversary for Manic Prime subscriptions. Thanks, dude. Whoa, Thank you so shite. much. Happy anniversary of being subscribed to me. <laughs> Wait for the boom. And for the boom. Oh, it oh. boomed. It boomed, oh. baby. <laughs> oh, okay. Straight uh, to the bottom, and it's anchored uh, there. Nothing's budging <laughs> that sub, man. That's a one-year like sub, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. How come none of the other bits up? moved? That was kind of weird. Um, there's, there's a like, glitch. There's a glitch. I was, I, I was gonna say there's like five bits that flew out, and like I, a bunch of phantom ones in the background. I, I reloaded, and there's some bits that aren't actually there. Uh, yeah. It's the glitch. Well, but I'm going to reload it with bits. <laughs> um, it may so be yeah, just there's... the subscription in there, actually. <laughs> well, there actually okay. is a, uh, a companion Pokemon game coming out also called Pokemon Quest, which if you've played um, any of like the WiiWare Pokemon games... Just hold on, on a sec, Stout. Let me reload it first. Back on the original oh. Wii. God damn it. You'll be used to this art style. They're oh, like drum dog. Never mind. Imagine. <laughs> oh, I mean, Pokemon with the look of like <laughs> Minecraft. So it's like very blocky, square, little tiny little cool things. It looks kind of dumb. I don't know. I bet Rosie would be all over that. 
She, oh, played, yeah. she played a lot of uh, Pokemon Brick Barns, which was like a Roblox version of Pokemon. She loved it. And then they took it off, and she was so bummed. I think you're right. I think it's oh something in that martini. Oh, my Rumble. God. That was the... Uh... Oh, my God. One went in. One. Hmm. Yeah, there, and that's the only two things that are in that cup. <laughs> Nothing else flew yeah. out. So that's what left. I'm saying. Let me reload it, because I think it's glitching. So, okay, what, what were you going to say, Garbage Trainer? I was going to say, it looks like a, an older game called Pokemon Rumble. They used to be on uh, the original Nintendo Wii as a WiiWare hmm. title. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, these are some derpy-looking <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> I never looked at these pictures until now. Oh, good. Derptastic. What I want to know is, when are we going to get Honk Castle <gasps> another proper Transformers game? It's been ages since we have I don't know. Yeah, I guess since the, the Cybertron ones. There we go. Oh. Okay, that's how many are actually also, in there. The Fox Disney shareholders vote on the merger on July 10th. That's oh. the other big news that happened this week. Okay. So oh, we'll finally find out. Comcast or Disney is buying it. All right. So, Please, so God, don't let it be Comcast. That's what the Pokemon look like in the Pokemon Quest. Game. What in the... <laughs> oh, it's a Minecraft style, it's a Minecraft style game. There's lots of Minecraft oh, transactions. I know, but <laughs> they all look like zombies. They their arms sticking like straight out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, know, right. uh, I react that way, and Brandon is correct, actually. That is exactly <laughs> the kind of stuff that kids like nowadays. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's, it's very like, Roblox like, kid. Like, That's what I was going to no say. More just, it's no more distorted than a pop vinyl. I mean, it yeah. looks, yeah, I was going to say, it looks very Roblox like. I bet Rosie and all her though. friends are going to love this. Yeah. So, so, for it me, looks either. like mm -hmm. Pikachu oh. right here just. Okay. Just got done jizzing on the floor. <laughs> Pink looks really sad. <laughs> <funny. laughs> <It's just like, laughs> he looks like he's crying to me, but all right. <laughs> Wait, you mean you don't cry after an orgasm every time? <laughs> no, generally I don't cry after coming. No, oh, okay. Like if you cry every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Press F if you cry every time. I just thought about coming, so I have to cry now. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Transformers, why the heck isn't the original Transformers available to stream anywhere on any service? What do you mean, the, the cart, the animated film? Um, the, yeah, the animated film. As far as I understand, I believe Hasbro, which owns all their like shows, is doing their own streaming service like everyone else. So. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm already, I'm already flipping my lid because I'm going to have to pay for DC. I'm already canceling Hulu because of DC, so... Don't worry about it. You don't have to, you only have to miss Transformers for about a year or two, maybe five tops, and then those companies, a lot of those, a lot of those small companies will just merge together because they have no choice. They're not making enough from the minimal number of people I mean, to drive. But there's, lit there's literally three major players. You're telling me that these companies can't figure out between Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu? No, 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 no. They don't want any of those. That's such small stuff. They want all the money. So that they make their own streaming service, they get all the money, Raz. Yeah, they don't, don't want to pay more money. Pay they don't I want know. to have to pay another service to have their content be viewed. Well, they don't, they don't have to pay, but they don't want to have to get percentage out of uh, money when they can get all the money. Uh, all the money, Raz. Yeah. Do you understand? All the money? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I understand I'm all not the actually money, working out that Right, no, that's the thing is that's the problem. The vast majority of people with these services are actually poor and can only afford maybe one or two or three tops. Yeah, I, I have Why two. Right now. I have three. I have WWE Network, which I don't even fucking watch except for pay per views, and I'm actually on the oh. brink of canceling. Uh, Some, something Netflix, to wrestle with is on the network now, by the way. What's that? Something to wrestle with is on the network now, by the way. I don't know what that is. Bruce Pitcher's podcast. Oh, okay. Mm. Eh, the, no, I don't care. The best wrestling podcast on the planet. Look, look, they eh, you know, bring independent companies to the the network for like <sighs> fucking two years, and I don't care until they do. I'm just I I watch the paper reviews. I watch an NXT every now and then because that's where the good wrestling is. If you're oh, yeah. a wrestling fan, you watch NXT. Wait a minute, they have Pokemon yeah. wrestling now. No. Yes, <laughs> actually, they do. <laughs> what? 
What? Uh, <laughs> no, no, not as a full game, but you can play as a Luchador Pikachu in the Pokemon. Oh, oh that, yeah. Lucario? Yeah, yeah. No, it's a Luchador There's actually... Pikachu. Oh, well, there's also Lucario and a Pokemon. No, no, no. Pokemon that. Yeah, the Lucario's in the game, but yeah. The champ. That's another yeah. wrestling one. Uh, Luchador. Oh, and now I want to do a whole wrestling team. Damn it. Hold right. on. Oh, goals. Oh, they, yeah, they do have it. There it is. I, well, I'm tired of this. The champs, and you're good. I'm tired of this. We live in a goddamn 2018. Give me a Pokemon game with all the Pokemon. Stop giving me just one generation. Give me all the Pokemon. All of them. I want all to of them. All of them. If you don't let me collect all of them, you can fuck yourself. Well, they do technically. Well said. There are nine generations, well and I want to make a fucking team with Pokemon from all the different generations. So I want all of them. If you, even if that's DLC, I don't care. I'll buy them. But so, I want all the so, fucking Pokemon. Here's how that works. Here's how that works, all right? Because there is technically a way right now to get, I don't know if it's all of them, but a, a lot of the Pokemon. It's basically, you know how they used to do like the the thing with the wire, you connect the wire so you can send Pokemon across sure. to the Pokemon Center, yeah. whatever. Um, it's a similar thing except for digital now. So you have to own all the other games and collect all the Pokemon in all the other games, and then you can transfer them over to another no, game. No, that's not. That's not. Like, that's, that's not. That's the not, only way they have it right that's now. That's not even what I'm talking about. I want all the. Yeah, I know. Pokemon. You want. You want all the Pokemon in one game. Yeah, and then yes, and I'd, love, I'd love it like this. Bam. The first game, Generation 1. The first DLC, the next fucking generation plus that area. And then keep doing that until you release all the fucking Pokemon so I can have all the fucking Pokemon. I understand. You gotta, you gotta, be, you gotta monetize that shit. So give me a DLC with the next generation, including that area, to go level up in and give me all the fucking Pokemon. <laughs> it's against the you gotta, you gotta be Ron Swanson about it. All the fucking Pokemon. No, no. You don't understand. I want all the Pokemon that you have. <laughs> I want all of them. You have heard us say that. that. <laughs> Look, I can't play my old turtle team. Please give me fucking all the Pokemon in one game. Blastoise and Torterra are in different generations, and Tarkoal is in that same generation as Torterra. So I can have two, two turtles. Yay! That's the best time I had in Emerald. I got two fucking turtles on my team. Great! I want all the fucking turtles in one team, guys. <laughs> and you know what? I want all the fucking Pokemon. Oh, um, man, is a turtle well, if you game, want, bro. if you want the turtles, man. I like turtles, motherfucker. <laughs> if you want the turtles, you can get Injustice too. Uh, no, no. Yeah. turtles that. and time. They that game's art style is just all crap. I hate it. I hate the. It's like. You know what Injustice looks like? I have no problem with the story or the gameplay, whatever. That's all. That can be all fine. But the way it looks, it looks like Michael Bay fucking jizzed all over DC, DC Comics. And I had no interest. <laughs> and, um, Ow. Right. Don't do that. But there's nothing wrong with the game. If you guys enjoy the game, that's fine. I just can't do it because that fucking um, look. There, the Pokemon joke there, the Parks and Rec reference. I was just remembering one night when uh, a bunch of us were hanging out with Dallin. I think you were there, Stab. And he was going to go make bacon and eggs, and we were trying to convince him to make all the bacon and eggs that he had. <laughs> and he was trying to explain to us that he had like a deep freeze with like 50 pounds of bacon in it or something like that. And I'm like, make all the bacon and eggs that you have. I remember that. <laughs> well, I was not for, there for this. No. I do. Yeah, because wasn't that, wasn't that the thing that spawned later in the morning for him to just grill a bunch of burgers? Bunch of no, meat. the burger thing doesn't was way earlier because I remember was that that, that was actually the very first night I ever hung out with Dallin. Yeah, at like five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Are you like yeah. butting with things right now to try to satiate your OCD, sir? A little bit. Well, I went in to turn my mic on in here, and now things are fucked up. I don't know what I did. Yeah, you sound like you're under the desk. With a tinker. Sound oh. like you're under the desk in here. Oh, I picked the wrong. One, hold on. At least in the hangouts, fine. yeah. In the hangouts, I mean, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on. Okay. Just want to be right. clear, so you didn't change the wrong, the right, the wrong one. Twenty-two. Yet. No, you're you're on the one oh, right in front of me. Oh. oh, oh it must have been there. <laughs> you were probably just <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> were you leaning that far back? You turned into a robot, like seriously. <laughs> yeah. <what? laughs> I am a robot. I am a robot. Damn it! I missed it. Communist robots. Um, Exterminate. All the meat. 
Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Andrew. Andrew, I do love space potatoes. Also, there. From Doctor Who, in case anyone's curious. Yes. Space taters. Space potatoes. Space potatoes. Space potatoes. And one more thing about Roseanne. <laughs> oh my oh, God. Oh, for the love. <laughs> Give it a rest stone. God. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, good. You cleared up the bits problem. So now we actually, actually have real bits in there. Good, good, good. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's That was one of the things I was futzing yeah, around with. So, pickups? Sure. Pickups. I ran into them good. I have a couple. After all, I checked the video. I think I only had two things. <laughs> Uh, last week, so you also have a title for the uh, for the, uh, t the the episode. All the Pokemon. There you go. <laughs> all the I want Pokemon. all the Pokemon. <laughs> all right, Robot Sean clipped by two men. I don't know how well I actually clipped that because I have the Hangout audio, I have the live stream playing, and then the clip audio as well. So it's hearing all you guys talking like three times. Gotcha. <laughs> I should have muted something while I was doing that. But... Oh, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have to watch it later. As, as, otherwise, they'll play again here. Yeah. Right on. Oh, yeah, I just figured I'd grab that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just saw Crane. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's great. Broken. Wait, what's going on? Here? <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. Yeah, Don't worry about, about it. Don't talk about it. It's well, uh, okay. It. Okay. Laugh and move on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, actually, uh, JL, I think you accidentally spelled his name properly. Ashton Kutcher, I think you actually spelled... Oh my god, guys! Guys! I think you spelled Ashton Kutcher properly. What? Really? Yeah, uh, by accident. He's... I point... Look! Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm looking. Uh, no, he's, well, he's said Ashton. no, he said Aston. Oh God damn it! No. <laughs> Aston, oh, Aston. I'm sorry, Dale. I was rude. Uh, that's the last <laughs> name, right? Actually, that's not bad. Aston. It's like you combine two people. Yeah, Kucher is always the one that most people get wrong. Yeah, Kucher is the one they get wrong. <laughs> it's like it's like the cheaper knockoff of the passport. Poor Dale. It's like sigh. <laughs> I will say this about Mr. Kutcher. He is a very good person. I. Yeah, I got no problems with him. Me neither. I don't care about him. One way or another. He, he exists. Good for him. <laughs> As do we all. Um, yeah, but I care that you exist. I want you to continue existing, Matt. Thank you. I appreciate that. I actively hope for your continued existence, I should say. I hope for your happiness and existence. I will explain that. I do not mean like. Anyway, don't worry about it. <laughs> pickups? Are we doing pickups? Oh, that's. Okay, pickups. yeah. I have something to talk about after the pickups, but yes. <laughs> I remembered what I looked at. Okay, oh, so you have the thing open yes. up. Okay. Good, so you won't forget. Yes, I have this thing called Discord that I had opened up, so. Mm. Oh, the... cool. I've heard of that. Yeah. What's that all about? <laughs> How and does I that work? What do you do there? <laughs> I also <laughs> like Mr. Jobs, JL. I thought he did really so, good. It, it amazes me how many people still don't know. About yeah. Pickups. Stop. Uh, I'm getting distracted, but pickups. I Stop. was answering comments on YouTube because uh, I just blame <laughs> you guys. I like to have the slight little voice crack there almost. Yeah. Like, pickups. Stop. Sean. Yeah. Big up! <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, let's. Uh, I usually go in alphabetical order here, so let's start uh, reverse alphabetical order. That is. So let's start with Raz. What do you got, dude? All right. Please, not everything uh, you got in the past three months. No, no. no, no. <laughs> Just I'll I'll do the I'll do the big highlights. Okay, big highlights. Guys, that you guys probably don't know about. All right. Well, one <clears throat> one you're listening to right now. Okay. Which is the Astro A10 gaming headset. Nice. Finally got a, finally got a proper gaming headset. You do sound because, a lot clearer than you have in the past. Like, way yes. better. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
And there, so that's the main reason that I picked up a gaming headset that was for live streaming yeah. like this. And also for videos when I need to actually show what I'm showing on camera. Okay. Because the way, because the way my arm is set up with my road, it completely blocks my face. Ah, gotcha. So, so that was one thing. Then comic book wise, I finally got all of the volumes of, of uh, Silver Age Batman. Oh, nice. So, finally caught up on those. Silver Age loving... Batman? Do you mean yeah, Golden ones... Age Batman? I mean Golden Age Batman, sorry. Okay, so, yeah. The same ones that you have. Yeah. Um, I think Volume 5 of that is coming out shortly. It should yeah, be due fairly soon. Yeah, I'm, but I'm, I'm with you, man. I'm loving reading, reading those because it's the oh, first it's... time... That yeah. I've read a lot of those. Stories. Oh really? Oh yeah. So, no, it's a great yeah. collection. It's uh, I, I liken it to the Marvel Comics Epic collections, where they're basically just showing yeah. every appearance from the early days in all the different comics. It's great. Yeah, and then uh, for uh, the big set that I picked up was uh, the complete series of Knight Rider on Blu-ray. Oh, nice. Finally. I love that. Cool. And I'd then, more of that. And then um, <clears throat> my latest thing was Rick and Morty Season 3. Yes. As far as Blu-rays go. Nice. And then for Stout and Quack to get excited about, MLB 18 the show. Or the oh, show 18. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Whatever, whichever one you want to talk about. That's so it. those are all my big things. If nice. you want to know everything, everybody tune in to the channel on Monday, and I'll have an yeah. uh, update that goes all the way back to March because I haven't been able to do one mm -hmm. since I moved. So that's so, Razman's Reality on YouTube, all one word. Uh, be sure to check him out. Yeah. He does lots of cool stuff, and he has yeah. been sort of the uh, the the, the uh, one of the other members of Geeky for a very very long time. <laughs> He used to be a more regular uh, member. Yeah. Just, you know, life, things change. Life, life. life. Is, I would go so Don't far as to, to say that life. he was, <laughs> in, in, and still is, in my opinion, one of the most important members of the Geeky crew. Oh, uh, yeah? Historically speaking, from a mm -hmm. historical standpoint. Uh, well, was, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Um. So if you're curious, looks like that... Batman the Golden Age Volume 5 comes out September, uh, September 25th, specifically. Nice. And as for nice. the Omnibus editions, the Omnibus editions are up to Volume 6, which yeah. would be 12, which would basically be 12 volumes of the paperback. So I'm, I think there's only one more volume, and then they go to Silver Age. Is that? Well, on the Omnibus, yeah, the Omnibuses are the ones I picked up. Okay. So, um... That's books. Well, the big, the omnibuses are the hardcovers. Yes. They're the big oversized hardcovers. Yes. Yeah, those are not the ones that I got. I got the paperbacks because. Oh uh, no. Yeah. I fucking hate bruising my knees trying to read. Hold on, no, you're right. They are the paperbacks. Yeah. The Here, I thought they were the omnibuses, but. Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, one omnibus equals two paperbacks is how it's been working out. So, okay. So, uh, so basically, with the paperbacks up to volume four. That goes up to volume two of the omnibus editions. So, um, yeah, so if you kind of just keep that ratio in mind, when, when the paperbacks are caught up, there'll be like 14 volumes, I guess, when it's all done. Okay. Something like so, that, yeah. Oh, I do, have, I do have one other thing, one other big thing that I forgot to mention. It's also a comic. Two of my friends from YouTube, um, some of the Twitch viewers might know the channel. They have a channel called Jowin. J A W I I N, okay. but their names are uh, <clears throat> uh, Jason Inman and Ashley Victoria Robinson. Mm -hmm. They put out their own comic oh, called cool. Jupiter, called Jupiter Jet, Neat. and it's a uh, it's a uh, female superhero, and it's like Kim Possible meets the Rocketeer. Cool. And so and so I got a signed copy of that that's on the way in the mail. Very nice. So. All righty. So, uh, Quack, what do you got? Uh, I just had four things here. Four uh, things. <clears throat> all equally, equally related. 
I uh, picked up some more Funko Pops. Uh, FYE was having a buy two, get the third one 75% off. So nice, decent deal. Um, working on what I got last weekend, more oh. Masters. That's Stratos. Oh, nice. Master of the nice. Universe, yeah. Nice. I got the regular Merman. Mm-hmm. Is there another Merman? I love yeah, that the... face. Look at that face. Yeah, yeah there's a variant. Um, where the, uh, the variant is more teal than green. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I want flocked variants. I don't care about the color variants. Fuck those things. Flocked. I got the non-flocked Beastman. So. Yeah, I want the flocked Beastman super bad because uh-huh. he looks so cool. I love Beastman. Uh, I should have for next week's show uh, the flocked Mossman is in the mail. So. Oh, I want that one the most because right. lo- oh, Mossman is one of my like top five. Nice. And then lastly, I got the FYE exclusive Trap Jaw. Oh, nice. And he looks yeah. pretty awesome inside. I haven't taken him out yet, but like his arm is... That's Amazing. Pretty, cool. You guys play uh, changeable arms, you said? No, um, I just love how, how awesome his arm looks. Oh, I was like, he had another arm. I was like, oh, that'd be so no. cool. <laughs> I, hope other vari- I hope other variants of him have different arms. So it's like incentivizing you to pick up the other ones, you know. And strangely, I, I was looking at the back of this one. Th- these are the first five that came out, like back in 2012. Wow. Um, and they're, they're, of course, all out of print. Oh, and... I still want Hordak, too. I know, so expensive though. Thanks, Duncan. He says, "I hate flowers in summer." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hate summer, but why do you hate flowers in summer? Bees live on on them, I guess. I don't know. Well, also, we well, don't live oh, on them. Jesus, two of those bits fell out. Oh well, that was pretty odd. Is that everything, Quack? Oh, I think that's it. Excellent. All right, Stout, what you got? Well, I said I got one thing, but I forgot that I did get this as well. I got mm-hmm. a heating pad for my back, which has been spasming all <laughs> fucking week. Excellent. It's been a lot of fun. Not. Uh, <coughs> other than one thing that I got was National Treasure. I that. The movie that is so called because the star is a national treasure. He is. Uh, also, everyone craps on those movies, but they're really good. I don't care. They're fun movies. I enjoy them. Our, our Lord and Savior, Nicolas Cage. That's right. <laughs> I got this for free through Disney Movie Awards. So. I actually... Uh-huh. Very cool. I actually prefer the second one over the first one. I'm way in the minority on that, I know. I like both of them. No, I, I like both of them. Equal. I watch they, them both. I see, one whenever one I watch one, I watch both. the other. How I do it. Yeah. Yeah, of course. One movie to me. So Absolutely. before I finish off, I just want to say one thing. The Mariners have finally tied the Houston Astros. Okay, cool sports. Anyway, is that it, yeah. Stout? <laughs> this is the geeky chat, not the sports chat. Just saying. <laughs> I, I got geeky about sports, all right? Deal all right, with it. Fine. Fine. Well, we can, we can Is that all the pickups? Yep, that's it. <laughs> all right, cool. Garbage gamer, what you got? Got some stuff. Stuff. I like some stuff. Cool stuff. Some things. So, stuff. Uh, <coughs> my local half price. If there's a quarter. Um, Yay, a quarter. <laughs> You're rich. I got a quarter. <laughs> a quarter. That could buy you a opportunity to play a video game. 30 years ago. Uh, or today. Oh yeah, my local half price books had a uh, four for 20 of anything nine ninety nine and under. So I'm like, okay. So I went over to their PS4 section. <laughs> Ooh. And uh, I picked up, I'll just throw that one last because that was just thrown in as the fourth one to make it $20. Um, some, of them, some of these are reacquisitions. Uh, like this one, Killzone Shadowfall. Uh, Ooh. Like, gotten rid of this a while ago and oh nice kind of regretted it the one everybody hates i don't know why everyone hates this one i don't know i it's, haven't played it so it's hard yeah, yeah. but it's maybe that's god fun. forbid a game be hard instead of super fucking easy like number two was <coughs> right yeah or three anyway um it's awesome it's up watch dogs because this is always just still need fun. that fun to just kind of pick around with so you know the story is okay uh, the protagonist is about as interesting as a plank of wood, but, you know. Yeah. It's, but yeah. it's a sandbox game, right? So it's Yeah, a fun... it's, it's yeah. a GTA knockoff with hacking. So it's like, yeah, you can have a lot of fun with that. Um, 
Also, finally picked up Mighty Number no. 9. Nice. Mighty Number no. 9! I don't know why everyone hates that, that game. I really liked it. I have not played Party it yet. So I, I, the well, controls can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> it's just one of those gotta get used to it things. A clear Mega Man uh, inspired game, so it should be hard as balls. Not the hardest, just not hard, hard, mind you. Some of the hard balls parts are not hard as balls because of uh, enemies. Some some of it is because of the control, but it's not like so frustrating that I can't play it. And I play a lot of platformers, so yeah. Uh, Almost in Bloodstained. So. Wasn't so, that actually created by the guy who did Mega Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's by. Yeah, I didn't want to do another one, so he left and he did that. Fune, which is the creator of uh, Mega Man. It's only Captain. It's, it's, it's Mega Man number nine, man. You all know that. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically. So yeah, this is the closest you're ever going to get to a Mega Man game that's not made by no. Capcom. <laughs> made by no. Com Comcept and Deep Silver. So, and this was also, I didn't even notice until I got it home, but this is actually the Kickstarter release version. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, you lucky um, bastard. Those, that's oh, nice. super expensive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because it comes with, uh, well, the code doesn't work, but it oh, that's not a the poster. Nice. Oh, nice. oh I'm There's so jelly. This side. I'm so jealous of that poster. That's it's really a double-sided, nice. and the other, the other side goes long ways like this, so depending on... <laughs> so I never got any long. Eh, long. <laughs> and it also came with, which is kind of a little, it's a little floppy, but uh, huh. it's a little book that the art of Mighty Number no. 9. So it's pretty much, it's just a art book full of Kenji Afune artwork. Beautiful. Uh, oh, very shit. cool. Um, it has a code in here, but I have a, it's it, it expired. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was for uh, the some kind of bit of DLC, and also two extra characters. Ah, uh, bummer. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Put this back. Back in here. All right. So the the game that I picked up. Uh, <clears throat> Just to kind of throw it in there to make it twenty bucks, is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Nice. Cool. And I, I took a shot on it because I, I wasn't sure how the Call of Duty remastered, uh, Modern Warfare remastered version was gonna work. I like Call of Duty. Uh, Dude. <laughs> I like the single player games. So I was all just throwing out. a grenade. <laughs> They're actually really fun yeah. stories and stuff. Uh, but. Uh, but yeah, it turns out I, oh. I can't, I can't do the uh, remastered because it was a DLC code. Oh. 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 Did to buy a brand new copy at some point? Which one was remastered? Like the more? original uh, Modern Warfare. Oh. Okay. They remastered the very first. Can you buy it? For, can you buy it separate? Off the yeah, web? you could buy it separate on PSN for forty dollars. Oh. Wow. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You're basically so, uh, better off just trying to find a sealed copy for like ten bucks. Yeah, because the Infinite Warfare, this version, yeah, is like ten, fifteen dollars, brand new. Yeah. We'll just buy that. And it was sell it, up and it was three ninety nine, and, <laughs> and then you can sell it saying it's been clinged, and no, someone knows what the fuck they're buying at least that time. Yeah. So I picked up another GameCube game. This one is hey hey hey, it's time for some crazy taxi. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Can't do that, boys. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, so many memories. Playing I have Crazy Taxi <laughs> on the PS3. So, uh, yep. I, don't, I had that on my PC. The HD upgraded crazy. version. I want that version. Uh, yeah, this is one of the few versions um, that actually has the uh, Offspring soundtrack intact. Mm -hmm. uh, I know the Xbox release, I don't think, had it. Um, neither did the PS2 version. I don't know what it was with the GameCube one, but yeah, they not only have the Offspring soundtrack, but they also it's not have... Sony or Microsoft, that's why. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they have the soundtrack from Offspring and Bad Religion. Nice. So nice. both of them are on here. So, yeah, this was like eight bucks. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll grab that. So, yeah, that was my that was my pickups. This one, besides Mighty Number no. 9, these are my two favorites of pickups for this week. Very nice. I've never played this, and this is a hell of a lot of fun. Very nice, very nice. I think you'll like Mighty Nine or Nine. Oh yeah, I mean I, I'm not a such a harsh critic when it comes to games like this. 
I know they're going to be hard, and mm-hmm. I know, and I've also I watched many, many a documentary and many, many a videos about the process and the creation of this game, so I know, you know, my expectations are set properly for yeah. this. I'm not going to go into this thinking this is, like, the Mega Man killer, you know, the ultimate, the new birth of Kenji Fune and the new franchise. Well, no. Mm-hmm. So. Good stuff. Is that everything? Yep. Awesome. Cass, Toon Man, what'd you get right. this week? Nothing. Why do we even have you on the show? Bye. Oh yeah, <laughs> bathroom <laughs> stories and stories about his trash baskets. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> the one time that he does actually have things to show us, it's trash baskets. Yeah. <laughs> trash bins. Twenty of them. Trash bins. He had, he had four different trash cans. You remember? Yeah, yeah. Boxes. Other than trash cans. <laughs> I, bet you, know, I bet you didn't even watch the stream us. and know that we were talking about that. You just knew that's what we would be talking about. <laughs> Gosh, I yeah. Cast like like us that we have an obligation to, you know, to go and get things to show for, you know, the pickups. It's your obligation to fart weirdly in bathrooms, <laughs> stories to tell for us tonight. Absolutely. The Not best wrong. bathroom stories. All right. Just, um, Speaking of bathroom stories, skin slip. What'd you get? <laughs> I have a bathroom story first. Awesome. Oh, Perfect. No. <laughs> Are you guys ready to be grossed out? Oh, Not yeah. Really. My ever. You can't top me, but. Oh, God. Are you sure? <laughs> I, I, don't know. Know. I don't want to tempt that. But okay. Go. So, <laughs> I don't want to everyone knows, I'm gluten intolerant. I may know this story. So what happens when, accident, when Brian accidentally eats gluten? <laughs> he shits blood for three days. I was shitting blood for three days. Yay. And then, just the other night, we were hanging out. Sean was doing his thing and then uh, you know, on Twitch as usual. Which, by the way, you should come to Twitch. Why aren't you coming to Twitch and hanging out? Come on, guys. Um. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I, like, I, I'm literally I on every day. Like... All day, literally all day. Just coming like literally all day. I am doing streaming full time now, like as my job. So come on in and join the party and watch me make Get videos and Give me procrastinate. Free yeah. Anyway, Ryan uh, had throw bits in. Anyway, so, so you, you were shitting I up, blood. Like, oh, I gotta go pee. Fuck. Oh, okay. So right. I go and I, I start peeing, and you know when you're peeing, you get loose, and suddenly it feels like there's a fart coming on. Yeah. <laughs> And well, you farted out of your face. Now you're thinking, oh, you're fart in the butt in your shorts, right? Uh, no, no, no. My butt blew a bubblegum-like bubble of blood that popped in my shorts. Oh. Oh. So that's my bathroom. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> I, don't oh, I, don't know why. I just picture Skin sitting there in his pants just going <laughs> <laughs> It was like So uh oh. so you know what actually what I'm picturing what I'm picturing Eric is I'm picturing the scene from Christmas vacation while they're all eating at the table and they need us to eat <laughs> the living room. Oh <laughs> yeah. my shorts. Alright. So, so that to that lovely tale. Um, I got <coughs> Tremors one through four. Holy I shit! Tremors five. I actually almost picked that up this week. Funny enough, because I was like, I should get those. Um, <laughs> my, my, my lovely girlfriend has not seen two, three, or four, so or five or six. Nor have so, I. I've only. I have not seen one. six yet, and so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna rewatch them with her. So. Did, yeah. did Sean just say he hasn't seen two, three, or four? I've only seen the first one. And a couple of random episodes of the short-lived TV series. The show was cheesy but fun. I liked it. I'm actually yeah. on board with uh, Sean about this one. I've also only ever seen the first one. Oh, uh, dude, two and three are so and, good. Or I, I, I no, really... wait, I take it back. I have seen the second one. Boom! There we Long go. Long ass. Nice, fucking... nice, Crelatin. Um, I really... Oh, damn, Crelatin! I, uh, Jesus. I... Nice. Wow. Um, I really like the first one. I've actually seen it several times. I just never mm-hmm. got around to seeing any of the sequels. I've seen the second <laughs> one, the first one and the second one, but none past that. Right. I think the, fir- the first four are the strongest. Yeah. 
fuck damn oh my god it's not doing the reaction to my fart bubble my blood yeah, fart I'm like, <laughs> I'm like blood fart is totally name my next band all right blood so, fart <laughs> my other pickup is i bought terminator 2 this one's signed by claudio F fragrasso why is it signed by claudio fragrasso because terminator 2 is the alternate title for shocking dark and what's shocking <laughs> dark Oh, well, Shocking Dark, I got, okay, 1989, you know, uh -huh. Aliens had come out, Terminator had come out, and there was a want for both those movies that had sequels. And the Italians, never missing a beat or an opportunity to make a fucking buck, made <laughs> Shocking Dark, which is a beautiful com combination, if I say beautiful, <coughs> I'll explain in a second, of, of, of Aliens, Jim, James Cameron's Aliens, and Terminator, just smushed together. They took Terminator and just shoved it right up the alien's ass. <laughs> and then they fucking filmed it. Now and I'm like, afraid to fart. It's... <laughs> uh, the well, I'm gonna broken. anyway. Here we go. <laughs> wow, wow, I felt that. Um, <laughs> Was it bloody? So it's a so... It's quote unquote so bad it's good though. I don't like that monitor. <laughs> film of silly, silly people. Um, there's also a lot of really... um uncouth talk at the beginning but you know it was in the 80s what are you gonna do can't really change what they're saying the age of uncouthness but yes uh this is a beautiful no edition from uh <laughs> from Severn films um they put out an email to their people who like ordered previously their email subscribers and stuff uh that they had limited edition slip covers and that and this was blurred out because it didn't say Terminator 2 on the website. It's just blurred. And, and they, I guess, uh, they're, they're up until they get litigation to take, take them down. So, because <laughs> it says Terminator yeah. 2. Yeah. Well, I mean, that whole cover, that whole slip cover is just not shameful at all. No, this is the actual poster. <laughs> I, want, I want this poster so bad, by the way. No, I mean, that's what I'm saying is, like, you can look at that and actually get confused into yeah. thinking that is the actual Terminator 2. Exactly. And just some alternate art. <laughs> what, what I find funny is, like, I mean, they're so tempting fire by having that as the slip cover rather than as the interior cover or an alternate cover on, like, the back or something. Well, that's why it's extremely limited, soon to be taken down slipcase. We can only sell them until they're told to stop selling them, and then they got to destroy them. Yeah. So they're only selling them until they get their cease and desist, and then yeah. they're like, all right, sorry, guys. Gigs up. funny. But these were really Prime. limited, uh, these signature versions, so. Yeah. Panic Prime goes a fart oh. with its own aftershock. And then, and then uh, <laughs> I got a new oh, aftershark. There you After go. Aftershark. This is my new, uh, my new, my new bowl, my new pipe. Here's the size of my previous pipe, so you can see it's much larger. Excellent. Uh, it's got a huge bulb, which means, uh, it fills up with more smoke, and they get higher with, uh, less material, because I can be able to fill the bowl before it kind of overloads. Excellent. <laughs> I'm not done. That's everything. That's it? All right. Hold yeah. on a second. Okay, so I get confused because when I'm doing my streams over the course of the week, if I go shopping, I tend to show what I picked up that day to whoever's in the stream. So that's why I had to refresh my memory of what I'd shown last week. So, uh, I still have some stuff. I think I only showed two Blu-rays last week, right? Is that right? John, like, you forgot, right? Angel. You forgot Angel, dude. Oh shoot, Angel! Sorry, you you were actually bl you blended into Skin Slip's shirt, and I forgot you were there. Oh I'm sorry. wow! <laughs> You're literally you were Skin Slip. There you go, Angel. What do you got? All right, just a handful of stuff here. Some of this I don't even know anything about. 1776. I've heard Ooh. of that. I have heard of that. <laughs> I got the limited edition steelbook of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I saw nice. that. I was considering that. Nice. Yeah. And uh, I've never watched a single episode of the series, but I picked up the movies. Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. <laughs> nice. My interest. Yeah. My friend loved that show growing up. My, my dad like used to watch Dr. Quinn, Medicine Babe. <laughs> <laughs> and to match the shirt, to match the shirt, this was my biggest pickup of last week. Ah, the 4K yes. Steelbook release. Oh, nice. Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park. That's wow. Yeah. Sweet. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. That's really nice. And the last one is the original Matrix Steelbook from Best nice. Buy. Oh, very nice. On a Steelbook Rampage, I see. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's it. Those That's look like those can slip? What are you talking about? Fantastic. Oh, my. That's, uh, no, 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 no. This one looks like a butt plug. The other one doesn't look like anything. <laughs> I'll, I'll get one thing. This uh, thing, I took a photo of this one in the crane. I was like, 
That looks like a butt plug now that I think about it, but I don't give a shit. It's a good pipe. I like it. I will say, I really want those, uh, I want that Jurassic Park 4K set because, like, Jurassic Park is one of those movies that you use to show off your new system and everything. I would double dip in Jurassic Park 4K. Yeah, actually, when I was uh, in residence for the summer at university, I had the CAV Laserdisc edition of the original Jurassic Park, and uh, I used that to show off Laserdisc to my roommates, basically. And uh, it was great. Of course, there was the one stick-in-the-mud roommate who didn't want to join us for our Jurassic Park viewing night. So we're all of us are. We figure majority rules. Too bad we're watching it loud. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we we uh, you know we're firing it up. And of course, I got my stereo hooked up in the and we're in the common area of the 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 uh, you know the room, the dorm, whatever, and. Uh, and this one guy comes over and says, it's really too loud. And it's like, well, you know, the, the rest of us are watching it. You were invited. You didn't show up, so we're we're watching it. And uh, ah. it's, like, it's like, no, 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 that's that's too loud. And he goes over and reaches to turn the volume down on the television. I'm just sitting there like... Just waiting to see if he figures out where the sound's actually coming from and not telling him a damn thing. <laughs> and... <laughs> Finally, he figures it out, and he turns it down, and he goes and off and sulks in his room, and as soon as he's gone, we turned it back up again. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Literally, the minute Cody would be like, the minute he left it, like, walk away, I'd be like, <laughs> no, he wouldn't have to, he'd been like 10 steps away, and like, falling yeah. back up. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> there's, uh, Outvoted, there's, bitch. There's Why would I there's few things that I'll be a dick about, but one of which is, don't you fucking dare tell me to turn my movie down. Yeah. Well, I've, <laughs> Some I've movies are Jurassic meant... Park at all. Some well, movies... need to pick those up. Some movies are meant to be watched loud. Jurassic Park is definitely one of them. All that fucking John Williams music, hell yeah. Sorry, what was yeah, that, Raz? Yeah. I'm, I was just saying that I'm very jealous as well of, the, of Angel's pickup, because I've yet to upgrade... Any of the Jurassic Parks at all. Yeah. So, they're I all have, still on DVD for me. I so. have the original trilogy on Blu ray uh, steelbook set that came out a while back, and then I've got just the standalone re release of Jurassic World uh, on Blu ray. I'm not in any big rush to, to upgrade, honestly, because um, I've still only seen the first two. <laughs> I still have yet to watch the last two, so. Good lord. I figure if they become movies that I watch more often, then I'll probably upgrade at some point, but for now I'm good with the the Blu-rays. But uh, <coughs> well, yeah. yeah, I still have Blu-rays haven't upgraded yet. Okay, so what I got this week, um, I'm pretty sure I didn't show any of you guys this. Although if you came to my daily streams, I probably I mean I know I showed them in the daily streams. So first off, a comic book which was uh, something I ordered accidentally. Well, actually I didn't order it accidentally. I ordered it. Okay, originally my thinking was. <laughs> What am I going to order with my Amazon gift card this month? Oh, I got all this stuff queued up. And there was one thing in particular that I really wanted to get, which was Mighty Orbots, which finally came out on DVD. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but I forgot that it came out on DVD, so I was like, ah, I don't know. I'll just get something that's been sitting in my cart for a long time. So I got Volume 2 of the Howard the Duck Complete Collection. Oh, nice. Which, uh... Which was something I wanted anyway. This has issues uh, 17 through 31, which is the final issues of the original series, and Howard the Duck magazine number one. Now, one thing I wanted nice. to mention here, which uh, kind of irked me, I have the original, uh, I have most of the original uh, comics. Like, I've got the entire original comic of the series and, and uh, the first appearance and uh, the two giant-sized man things. The only thing I'm missing is man thing number one. And then I'm missing the last couple issues of the magazine. But otherwise, I have everything. So I know when something is amiss. Now, let me just show you something here. You see this scene here? There's this wonderful, tender moment where Howard and Beverly have been through, you know, a very rough day in the first issue of the magazine. Now, the magazine was marketed much like Savage Sword of Conan. It was like an adult magazine. Like, it was an adult comic intended for mature readers. So, um, which made perfect sense for Howard the Duck, I think. So, anyway... They literally have sex 
in this issue. Like, it's all done with lights out and implied, but they definitely had sex in this issue. Now, I call your attention to this panel here, where you see them just kind of getting a little intimate, and there's a big blanket here over Bev's bodacious bosom. In the original magazine, that blanket isn't there. You you see her boobs in all their glory. <laughs> So they uh, they censored that for the magazine or for the reprint, and I'm a little miffed about that. It's like, really, guys, you couldn't literally include the one single panel of nudity from the entire history of Howard the Duck. You had to censor it. Fucking pussies. Anyway, <laughs> next up, Blu-rays, Blu-rays, Blu-rays. I got the house that dripped blood. Which is uh, an anthology horror yeah. film from the '70s. I know what you got now. <laughs> I really wanted to get it because, well, I love anthology horror, but also because it features John Pertwee, the Third Doctor, as a vampire. Which you can't see it all oh, that's there; awesome. it won't focus. But, uh, but yeah, I heard that a long time ago he was in this. I didn't know who, what character he played, but apparently he's a vampire in it, <laughs> <laughs> and hamming it up as only John Pertwee can. Um, so, really looking forward to that for variety of reasons. Uh, picked yeah, up in. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. on his era of the Doctor right now, by the way. Cool. Uh, picked up Insidious, The Last Key, which is the latest in the uh, Insidious series. Really love that series. And then finally, uh, picked this one up based on Skin Slip's recommendation. He was telling me a bit about it, and uh, I saw that Sunrise Records. Sunrise Records, by the way, is where I got all these. Um, now has like a film buffs wall at the back. So this is the company that replaced HMV in the local mall here uh, and kind of doing the same thing that they used to do. Um, so they have a film buffs wall where they have an arrow section, they have a shout factory section, and a separate scream factory section, uh, and a whole bunch of other. And they got a Kino Lorber section, and they're just starting to add a Criterion section as well. So um, all separated out into their own sections right. on this back cater to wall. your audience huh that's right cater to your, to your audience that's a absolutely so it's wonderful so um so i went to the arrow section i thought hey i wonder if they have that one that skin slip was telling me about so i was gonna buy it off amazon it was like 40 it was like 50 bucks on amazon so i looked and sure enough they had it at sunrise for 54 dollars. so i was like wow four dollars more to go home with it right now i think i can manage that so I'm, of course, talking about the Bloodthirsty Trilogy, which is basically a trilogy, uh, well, I say trilogy, they're, in, they're individual films, but uh, all by the same director. Um, basically, Japanese vampire films by Toho, where Toho basically does Hammer. It's, yeah. it's, it's literally their take on sort of Hammer film style of, uh, you know, gothic, modern gothic horror, uh, like vampire movies. And we, Skin Slip and I watched all three of these today. And yep. this is so much freaking fun. Like, if you like Hammer Horror, get this. It's basically Japanese Hammer Horror. It's If you like horror, you might enjoy it. That first movie, that, yeah. that Vampire Doll is like a really solid, like, 7 out of 10 star horror film. It's really yeah. fucking good. Stoud is going to love good. that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's but, very good. And this director, by the way, has some of the most beautiful fucking framing. He's so... Oh, yeah. He has such an eye. I had no idea why he did four films, like two or three TV series, and this he only did in 1975. He, he, he had a very short career. Um, only did a farmer or something. Only yeah, did a look at things. the framing! But, uh, no. but yeah, the visuals were really, really beautiful in that. Oh, they did a really nice job. And the transfer of that is fantastic. It's um, just beautiful. Uh, you would love it, Stab. No joke. Quality. quality i do like framing and <laughs> I, I don't know why some, he only directed four movies there's some exemplary yeah, framing oh wait a minute there's one other thing i got which i like it baffles me like i'm I, seriously I, I google like we're in the middle of the second movie and like you know i can't handle it i gotta find out why this fucking guy never did any more movies yeah he retired yeah. at, in the 19th in 1935 he did like a bunch of second year stuff and then he became a farmer and died <laughs> in like napa valley california yeah Chino, so i think okay. Chino, california so one more thing I got. This is one I've been meaning to get in my collection forever and just kept putting on, putting on, putting on. Finally, I saw this uh, Arrow Steelbook edition at Sunrise. They had the regular edition as well. And I thought, yeah, I think I'll think I'll grab that one. We have Reanimator. The original Reanimator. And this is the limited edition Arrow Steelbook edition. 
Um, and which, funny enough, is the same shelf where I saw that Bill and Ted set that uh, Angel was showing there. <laughs> and almost also grabbed, but I basically grabbed this one instead. I been really like that steel this one longer. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's, uh, I mean, I like my box nice. set too, but god damn that steel book. Uh, well, the interesting thing was the Steelbook had a sticker on it that said FYE exclusive. We don't have an FYE yeah. in Canada, so I don't even know how they got it at Sunrise. But no, I was like, FYE okay. A, it's FYE <laughs> exclusive is like a U UK thing, so. Weird. We got, you I just don't get know. it. Yeah. I, or really, in the US thing and stuff, the, so like they don't. Then I really then I don't really know how they got, got it, but it. okay. <laughs> because you guys, because it's a dual region release. So. I guess, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so pretty, and that is everything. That is everything I got, and and funny thing is, uh, as you guys all know, I've been doing the the DVD Blu-ray collection overviews over the course of the past couple weeks, and I realized I just finished filming the last of the horror ones uh, last night, and I realized that those are all going to appear in the overview videos before I've actually done the update videos. So, oh well, oh well, they actually so would have. They actually would have appeared sooner, but I wanted to post my uh, post rent update video first because uh, that, that, was a that was a joke that just couldn't wait. We came, we all, we all joked about that on 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 uh, here on Twitch, like 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 three or four weeks ago or something, right? Yeah. And it came and then and I forgot about it. I was at, I think it was even longer ago than that. Actually, I was editing something else, and then I just randomly paused. And I, and I just thought, and like where I paused was the exact shot you see in that video. I just paused and I looked at it and I was like, wow, I look so sad and forlorn in this still frame. And then I thought, and then I'm just sitting there next to the empty <laughs> music stand. I'm just like, huh. So I look up, sad violin. Hey guys, look at this while listening to this. What do you think? <laughs> and a, a joke was born. That was a brilliant video. <laughs> Good shit. Yep. Thank we were you, fucking around. We came up with. It's just right. one of those yeah. random yeah. little things. And oh, a lot yeah. of us had forgotten. A lot of people who were like, "Oh man, that was hilarious." I'm like, "But you were there when we filmed it. I remember you in the chat." I know. <laughs> Everybody I know forgot that. about it. And then, yeah. there's, and then there's just as many people who don't get the joke. And they're like, uh, Sean, you're not filming. <laughs> Your video isn't working. It's like, no, it's working perfectly. Or like, where's the update? It's like, you saw it. <laughs> that is every single thing I got. All of them. <laughs> Collectively. <laughs> I'm surprised I was able to fit everything in such a short video. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I forgot one pickup I had. Oh, you forgot one. Okay, what do you got? Um, I went to Toys R Us the other day and picked up my son the huge land speeder that you can drive. Oh, like the Power Wheels one? Oh, oh, my, yeah. God. oh, oh my God. Oh, dude. dude. So I think we're going to give that to him for his second birthday, even though it's like for three, ages three to four, and he's pretty much he's, the size of a two and a half year old already. Oh, really? Is he a big kid? Yeah, he's like nice. 28 pounds already, and he's only 14 months. Holy moly. Right. Wow. We went to a birthday party earlier today, and there was a three-year-old girl who's only like 21 pounds. Wow. So wow. going to be a big boy. It's going to be but, a bad um, Yeah. Um, Football, maybe. That's awesome. Yeah, I saw pictures of that. It's basically, you guys all know what Power Wheels is. Well, basically, they did uh, like Luke's Land Speeder from Star Wars. And we were all like, oh. To be five years old again, <laughs> you know, like, be awesome. we would all love one of those. <laughs> yeah. But that would, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, and just Andy Major says we all knew something was up when the video was under ten minutes, more like under thirty minutes with me. <laughs> uh, I love SNI. Never stop SNI or suffer or you withholding of tea. Well, I think you oh, would God. suffer more from that than we would. <laughs> I don't know if I care. Withhold all the tea, sir. Do not mind. All the tea. All the Pokemon. Echo! Yeah, when I got loud, it started echoing a bit. Are we echoing from Skinslip or are we echoing from no. someone else? You weren't echoing from I'm me. Confused. I'm confused. No echo. I'm confused. No, no, no. echo because they saw I'm my confused. face and zoomed with me. But echo, 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 echo. 
I hear Echo somewhere. I don't know where it's coming from. Echo? Echo base? This Echo. is Rogue 2. I found them. I repeat, I found them. <laughs> Echo. Echo base? No, this is Echo. Rogue 2. I'm sorry. I found them. <laughs> We're headphones all fucking day. I repeat, I found them. <laughs> Echo. Echo base? No, this is Rogue right. 2. I can't even <laughs> reach my headphones over far enough. Echo base? No, really suck it over too. Sorry. Did someone say Echo? I can't even reach my headphones over far enough. Holy shit. Did someone say Echo? I can't even reach my headphones over far enough. Did someone say Echo? Are we going to the Echo Zone? Echo? Holy shit. The Echo Zone? Did someone say Echo? Are we going to the Echo Zone? Echo Zone? God. Welcome to the Echo Zone. Echo drone. What's an echo? What's an echo? Oh, it's an echo. God. Echo? Is it an echo? Well, what's an echo? I don't know if it's an echo. What's an echo? It might be an echo. What's an echo? Oh, it's an echo. Is it an echo? Is it an echo? I don't know if it's an echo. It might be an echo. What's an echo? Is it an echo? I don't know if it's an echo. I think I already said something about Echo. What was it? Echo canceling. Well, like the Echo is working. I'd say the Echo is working. The Echo is definitely working. I can hear Echo. That means the Echo is working. I like the Echo is working. The Echo is working. I'd say the Echo is working. The Echo is definitely working. I can hear Echo. That means the Echo is working. I like the Echo is working. Why? I'm not, 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 i am not i that we're not supposed to talk about that he's saying it's fine to talk about. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, the Rocketeer. Andrew Andrew oh. here was like, uh, the Ro don't talk about Ro Rocketeer when I'm around, but like, I have strong opinions about the Rocketeer, but the, the strong opinions are the new show doesn't sound that awesome because it's for like... That's what I was going to mention. Children. It's literally yeah. for toddlers. Right? What? You know, that's the target audience. I mean, it's one thing to make a show aimed at a, at a, at a like, take a franchise and aim it at a younger audience. Ugh, Thundercats Roar! Um, <laughs> but, that one. You're, you're, take, roar, you're literally taking a, a, a concept about someone dressing up in a rocket suit and fighting Nazis. A comic that was for adults, by the way, not and, for kids at all. And adapting it into a show... Aimed at the same age bracket as Teletubbies. Like, that is literally the Teletubbies age bracket. 
<laughs> really fucking sad. They're turning the Rocketeer into Teletubbies, is what it boils down to. Why they gotta go with Why? the Rocketeer? The Rocketeer's so awesome. Because they don't like nice things. <sighs> Next just, thing you know, they'll be doing the same thing to the shadow. Oh, oh man! The shadow don't, knows don't how important it is to brush your teeth and go to bed Blue and call. do what your parents say. Blue call. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if this be the bit better Twitch TV emoji. At the end, the crime doesn't pay. It'll be like Timmy stole it. And eventually, I'll have a blue call. <laughs> so the hey, plan hey, right now is I. I have somebody working on a blue coal emote for your better Twitch TV setup when you finally get that working. Yay! So that you could have a blue coal emote for no reason. Excellent. I, I still love that one where you're like, hey, you can get 25 pounds of anthracite nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I laughed for like 20 minutes about it. I, uh, <laughs> I clipped it, yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh. Anthracite nut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another thing for those of you who haven't joined us on the daily uh, Twitch streams. Um, often we listen to old time radio shows, and one of the ones that I often throw into the rotation is The Shadow, which is one of the all time greats. So, yeah, um, usually I'll put those on, and I'm either going out to the store for a few minutes or. If I'm doing something mundane, like scanning documents or whatever, we'll just listen to radio shows all day. You gotta um, get back. But yeah, yeah, we definitely, I definitely gotta get back to that. I got a lot more uh, scanning to do. I think once I get the up, the overviews finished, uh, I'm just gonna spend a day or two working on that, and we'll just power through a whole shit ton of old time radio. So tell you can't take any more, and you gotta do something else. Exactly. Can yeah. We, can we possibly, uh, yeah, like do? Doctor Who during the daily stream, some too. No. Cause I. No. Because of copyright, <laughs> I can do the old time radio. Oh, right, right, right. I can do the right, old time right, radio right. stuff because it's all public domain. So. Right. Yeah. I, my bad. I although, my bad. Al although Twitch bad. still mutes some of them anyway because they think they're copyrighted. Like, I, don't, enough. I don't know what Twitch has against Dimension X. But I got all those Dimension X episodes off archive.org. They're all like CC zero. <laughs> some other company claiming it and I don't know. stupid is there a refute is there a way to refute it no okay well actually no I think there is I can I can resubmit it like for okay you know but honestly I don't really care that much yeah. <laughs> I, you know but what's yeah. funny is like what what will happen is like you know on twitch the way they deal with copyright stuff is they just mute that portion of the stream that is in question is the file uh, muted so if you download it that's still muted no. Oh, okay. So it's unmuted no. if you download the file. Yeah. If you download it, it's it's fine. But it's the same thing when I export to YouTube. When they export to YouTube, it's the unmuted version, and they leave it to YouTube system to flag what they deem inappropriate. Um, it's completely different, usually. Which is completely... As I was going to say, it's completely different. Like, I actually had one. It was, it was one of the radio show ones, and Twitch muted one show... And then YouTube muted a completely different show. <laughs> like they both, oh, they not neither one agreed on which one was when really none of them were. Like none yeah, of them you, should you have muted at all. Public domain. And Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. If I wanted to. Really? Really? Major I could press Mato CDs and sell them if I wanted to. Basically. Oh yeah. No, hold on. Oh, Major Matoka says Hitchhiker's Guide to the, Guide the Galaxy last week is muted on Twitch. Um, specifically, I think the. Uh, I, I had the theme song at the beginning. I think the theme yeah. song is muted, but the rest of it isn't. Cause, yeah, it'll be okay. Know, yeah. It's just us talking. There's nothing else to mute. Yeah. yeah. And if I if that was the case, and I disputed it and said it's just us talking about the show. Uh, technically, D-Large, there will be a way to have Blue Coal, not bits, but like subscriptions or whatever, or donations. He can yeah. set the yeah. token for like... Yeah, There's a blue hole if you wanted to. Yeah, basically, yeah, basically the, the only one that I can manually do is the donation icons. Yeah. I can turn them so, into different things. So he could make one of them blue coal when we finally get the emote ready. Yeah, it would. I would absolutely be the highest level one. You'd have to earn the blue coal. <laughs> right. As it should be. Blue coal, goddamn it! It's anthracite. It's, it's rare. Well, it's not. anthracite. It's it's rare and and it's coal, so it would be heavy. So and it has it to have clean. high value attached to it. And it's painted a harmless blue color at the factory. It is. 
<laughs> it's very kind of them to do that. With lead paint. <laughs> we only get a little lead poisoning. With lead paint. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> doubt, eh? So they didn't know any better. <laughs> Always had lead paint, for God's sake. Everything. And radioactive, glow-in-the-dark stuff. <laughs> yeah. All through the shit. Yay. That's my favorite part, by the way, about Fallout games. Mm-hmm. Is they get that part right. The whole, they didn't know any better, and they literally used the most dangerous, ridiculous <laughs> crap. They yeah. did. I know. We're stupid. Man, we just get smarter and smarter with each generation. That's just how it goes. In some ways, yes. And, and I'm talking <laughs> about like, those kind of ways, like in the... And they're like, oh, that's bad for us. Me, don't do that anymore. Yeah, it's like, that like I mean, how when we learned that global warming was a thing, and uh, and then started taking steps me, to, uh, to fix change. that global uh, climate change. You know, right? And when you know, when it was conclusively proven that the world was round, uh, we as a as a society as a whole moved beyond the whole idea that the world was flat. Boom. And, uh, and when it was proven yeah. that uh, vaccines actually do help people yeah i mean that's we're no longer you living know, in the dark ages where we yeah. think the world is flat and vaccines are dangerous and uh <laughs> that um whatever the other thing i said was a thing <laughs> <laughs> i still love the uh, i think i need more coffee I, uh take on that what, which so one? Sure uh, if Google was a guy where it's like the woman's asking if vaccines, <laughs> vaccines cause autism, he's like, oh, oh I yeah. have this huge stack here that says they don't, and one result here that says they do. She's like, I knew it. Like, yeah, oh. I know. <laughs> so, well, then he yells after, he's like, yeah, just because I have, have it doesn't mean it's mean true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, think I think Sean's brain is like, must sleep now. No, must play video games now. <laughs> must really? play video yes. games. Tonight, uh, well, actually, pretty much now. I think we're pretty much done for now. Um, and my brain is running out of steam. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> so perfect time to play something scary when my defenses are at their weakest. Yes, um, <laughs> that's true. Um, so I thought tonight, uh, we would fire up Outlast 2, which I have not played yet. Uh, those of you on YouTube will see the first part of that in a couple of weeks. Um, basically right after Outlast Whistleblower. I figured Outlast Whistleblower is almost done. Might as well go straight into Outlast 2 and just kind of keep that going as our Fright Night Friday video game for a while. Um, yeah, so I thought we'd give that a spin. I don't know much about it. I... Uh, I understand it's a little bit different than the first one. It looks a little bit more Children of the Corn than Scary Mental Hospital, at least from what I've seen in the the uh, pictures. And, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do afterwards. And uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. All right, so any final words, gang? Thanks for having um, me on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Anytime. Yeah, uh, I was glad. Glad to be back. Hopefully, I can make it a regular thing again. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you all in Vermont. Bye. <laughs> that is oh <it>. yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> all righty. Well, have yourselves a great night, day, week, evening, whatever. And again, don't forget, I'm basically on every single day on Twitch doing something. Often working on YouTube videos, sometimes just hanging out, procrastinating, putting off working on YouTube videos, or playing video yeah, games, or, or scanning documents while listening to old time radio. Whatever it and is, stop by. I'm usually on online. And it's never at the <laughs> same time either. So, well, no, it just, usually I usually is. The, I'm trying to be consistent with that. Okay. Live <clears throat> okay. scanning documents just. Yeah, there's actually a countdown timer on my main Twitch page that tells you the next time that I'll be live. So, okay. Yeah, I did that to cool. indicate the con consistency. If I'm not, it's because I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, uh, and by dead, I mean probably still asleep. And I'll uh, I'll go live when I get out. Well, yeah, the other day, didn't you like sleep until like Rosie got home from school? I did. <laughs> I even longer than that. Like I had I had just been going flat out. I'd burned myself out. I was so exhausted. 
I got up and I got like four hours of sleep. I forget why I got so little sleep too. Like it was something stupid. Then I got up and did stuff for a little bit and I was just like, God, I'm so tired. I'm going to go back to bed. So I went back to bed and ended up sleeping till like 6.30 in the evening. So Jeez. Rosie came home and she was just doing her own thing. She said hi. And then I just, you know, got up and made her dinner and stuff. And we hung out for a bit and yeah, good times. But uh, that's not very often. Usually I, I make sure to get enough sleep. So, alrighty. Have yourselves a great, uh, a great night. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for chatting. And sayonara. Penis. Hi, turtles.